more than that, but it's okay. I'll Mark, honestly, I, to... I, I was just expecting a lot more mushrooms. That's all I'm saying. Look, Mark, why won't you let me feed you? Why is that such a problem? Well, again... I, I was expecting a lot more mushrooms, and there are no mushrooms in here, so... Yeah, because I'm know. not a Neanderthal. No, but... Whoa, whoa, I whoa. Mean, no, hang the fuck on a second. What, <laughs> what's wrong with mushrooms? This erasures, and I'm not going to stand here for it. I'm leaving. <laughs> Mycelium erasures? <laughs> yes, because if there's one either. thing... Juicy. There's one group of people who, who have been erased far too often. It's the Mycelians. For fuck's sake, they're called Mycanids. No, I like Mycelians better. I like Mycanids better. You're under my roof, son. Dang it. <laughs> uh, hey, everyone, welcome back to the Unexpectables. Yeah. Hello. How's it going, everyone? We, we, we returned from me not going on vacation, but us acting like it. <laughs> uh, the vacation uh, was the friends we made along the way. But we didn't go anywhere. Well, uh, then <laughs> pandemic's not over, kids. I haven't had a vacation in ten years. What's a vacation? It's that thing where you go either do nothing or do too much, and then it's not a vacation. That sounds like hell. Yeah, that's family. That's family trips. They suck. Bro, I'm just going to New York for a few days just to go to Manhattan and fuck around and find out because I haven't done that in four years. Are you I gonna just... throw hands with the Times Square? The whole square. No, whole okay, square. I'm gonna let you in on a big fucking secret. If you're from New York City, you know damn well not to go to Times Square unless. No, you I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is I, no fucking reason to go there unless you're going to a show. Otherwise, I, don't go. I went once just so I could have the picture that said I went to Times Square. I didn't even bother. I was in Manhattan. I was like, fuck that noise. No, you you go to fucking like Soho or you go to the Village. You don't go anywhere else. Maybe you go to. to Hmm? I went to that the the road alongside Central Park that has all the museums. Oh, you went up. You went. You're just edging onto Uptown then, because on one yeah. side's the Met, one side's the uh, Museum of Natural History. Yeah, we went to the Museum of Natural yeah, History. We couldn't spot. get into the Met. Man, what? I just want to. I just want to go to Nathan's, just once. No, you don't. Even New Yorkers don't want to go to Nathan's. I've never been. I mean, well, in fairness, name I want to go to Chicago and touch the Bean. So you know. What? Well, you Sorry, know whose Bosco. name isn't Nathan? Gaijin Goomba. Where can they find you? What are you uh, up to? What are you doing, at, Nathan? At, at Nathan.twitch.helpme. <laughs> 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 so, so, real talk for a hot second. Um, I think I'm in love with 40k orcs. I, no. think, I think it just kind of happened. Um, I was, I was uh, last playing uh, DACA Squadron. Which is very simple, very dumb, very, very basic, but that's orcs, baby, and it's hell of a lot of fun. Um, gonna be some more build streams, I have a lot of model kits, and interestingly enough, I've got some uh, orc kits that came in. Thank you, Throne, and everyone else. Um, <clears throat> aside from that, be sure to check out my new video talking about how uh, a very lovely Kami has been horribly misrepresented. Just kidding, I'm just using it as an excuse to tell the story. Uh, cool. And how her uh, amazing booba saved Japan and the world twice. Always a good time. Uh, aside from that, God, nothing's really coming out game-wise. I'm like bottom of the barrel scraping. Uh, I think I'm done with Milo in Elden Ring, and I may just want to put him in... Uh, I almost said Minecraft, and I almost died. <laughs> I want to die in Minecraft. Uh, you can't make bread there. Uh, that's true. It's true, but I, I think I want to. I think I want to drop him in Skyrim because it, it, I've got enough mods to make that work. Uh, but no, I'm st I'm still up to my my weeb crap. Uh, I'm still talking culture gaming. Uh, next next weekend is going to be a new video, kind of going on the opposite end of the spectrum, talking about the biggest badass woman ever to exist in Japan and how she decapitated a man before she she uh, what was it? Fuck, never mind. She decapitated a dude before he fell off his horse. It's really cool. Damn. Sometimes you just gotta. Bro. Sometimes you just gotta. My brain is very head empty tonight, so I apologize. No, this is great. This is exactly what I want going into the game. Hub, hub, yeah, that hub. doesn't make us nervous at all, Monty. Thanks for saying ha, that. Ha, 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 ha. Well. <laughs> Terrifying. You know whose else name isn't Nathan is Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me in Gaijin Goomba's house, actually. 
Yeah, and he won't eat my food. <laughs> you can. I can make me. you a sandwich, Mark. <laughs> Wait, I thought that was Nathan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's Nathan. That help me. Remember. Listen, we all know when we're in the realm of the Fae not to eat their food. True. Jesus. You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch.tv slash Aeon Protect Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life I am literally done with day one of two days of moving. So, uh, like, oh, damn. half my house doesn't exist anymore. And that's why I'm at Gaijin's house, because they cut off our internet early. Like you do. Yeah. Um, I'm getting internet at the new place set up tomorrow, so hopefully, maybe, if I'm not dead, we'll have a stream on Saturday that may even just be like a come and hang out while I unpack everything, but it's been a while since I streamed, so I want to get something going again. And it'll be a good way to test my new crappier internet and see if streams will even work anymore. It's going to be great. <laughs> come on by. Uh. We have almost a 1,000% level 5 hype train. We That's miss amazing, you guys. Too, we really have. Yeah, bro. This, bro, the secret is just to skip a week. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, a, a man a with like fifteen D and D games the other day was like, "I want, I miss the unexpectables," and it's just like, "All right." <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm I'm down like three of them right now. It's nuts. So you only have twelve? Damn, that sucks. Oh, jeez, yeah. what a problem. Averaging one and a half games a day. Meanwhile, I fixed my sleep schedule and I'm ready to botch it again tonight. Yay! Listen, I was, <laughs> that's I was what ready I'm ready to go on a relaxing vacation and it never happened, so I wanted to play D&D &D to help fill the void in my heart, okay? I feel you. Speaking of filling the void in my heart, Zito, where can I find you? What are you up <laughs> oh, to? Oh, Jesus Christ. That was so sweet. That was, all, that was oh. awful. You can find me at Twitch.tv <laughs> slash Zito, where I'm... Yo, listen, Steam Next is happening. I have over 450 gigabytes worth of demos on my hard drive as we speak to go Jesus through from Christ. now until from now until next Monday. I have to play all of those games, which is not even a, a like a scratch on the surface of all the games that Steam has out right now for demos alone. There's like hundreds of thousands of games you could try out for free and they're being showcased on Steam right now. I'm only playing like 75 and I'm, I don't dare go any further because I have work to do outside of, like, all these games I have on here. Uh, beyond that, uh, I I also was uh, pimping out this really cool and cute game, Drag and Drop, which is only $5 on Steam right now. Uh, if anyone remembers what the minigame uh, Checkerboard Chase on Kirby 64 was, it's basically that with little dragon friends. Can I describe uh, it? <laughs> what? I just want to. I just want to say, if you don't know what that is, I w I always attribute it to Bomberman, but the aesthetics of Bubble Bobble. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's adorable. It, it is, is adorable, and it's only five dollars on Steam. There's no reason not to get it. It's like Vampire Survivor. It's so I mean, much I, fucking quality. I don't have internet right now. Is that a reason? You have no. internet right now, Mark. You're using oh. mine. Oh, yeah, use, use Nathan's. Uh, just, you can also. You can also <laughs> <laughs> that needs to be the name of the episode. Just. Yeah, and now they're here's Nathan. Calling, they're not calling the episode Nathan, you guys. Why not? <laughs> but let, let's just say if there's an NPC and he's named Nathan, I want you to all lose your shit. Cool. <laughs> we will. Uh, uh, I make no promises. Gaijin, you know, how'd you get in the, in the game? <laughs> you can also... Uh, finally, Swords of the Sea, which was the update I've been trying to work on my Patreon for so long, is finally out. It was out at the start of the month. But uh, I, I was talking it down a little bit too much last uh, last time we played. And I'm like, oh, what the fuck am I doing? I got to, like, show my stuff a little bit better. So check it out. Uh, two new subclasses, one of which is literally a jester for rogues. So you can basically can now make any weapon you pick up. Like, any improvised weapon is now a weapon. So you could do, literally do pie damage. So I can uh, be Shaco now. Yeah, you literally can be just Shaco. Uh <laughs> Or you could play a good character and not be a piece of shit. Sorry. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Man, I haven't played League in, in fucking years, so I don't know and care anymore. So sure, he sure he's a There's not enough character. time in this intro to unpack why they did my boy Yorick dirty. But anyway, please continue. <laughs> so, yes, there's Jester Rogue. There's Buccaneer Fighter, which also comes with uh, three 
uh, new fighting styles. Uh, also, the Buccaneers' whole gimmick is offhand, but it's actually useful. So you can literally, like, hit someone with one weapon, switch to a weapon you have in your equipment that's not equipped, and then hit them again with an offhand, and now you have that as a main weapon. Uh... Beyond that, and then there's five other sea critter races. Like, uh, you could be Ursula, you could be, uh, Head Crab Jellyfish. Why do I make these things? I don't know. I do these things at 3 o'clock in the morning, and they just seem like good ideas. And they are. Five dollars, all of this could be yours, and more. Oh yeah, and little squid cracking people. You could be, you could be squid kids. You poor squid. unfortunate soul. In pain uh -huh. and need. I see what you I'm gonna, there. I'm gonna post it in chat. <laughs> uh, Yay! So you it out there. Yep, so go check it out there. It's on Twitter. It has a little link to the Patreon post. $5, you get that. Uh, my next new update is going to be uh, Legally Distinct Moomin, the playable race. And that'll be free for everyone. Sweet. Can I say something real quick before we move on, just because I totally forgot? Sure. This is where my brain is right now. Uh, my birthday is on Saturday, so that come hang out stream will be come also celebrate my birthday with me while I unpack my house. Yeah. Happy birthmas. How old are Thank you? you? I'll be th uh, 34. Oh, you child. Listen, I'm not Monty. <laughs> oh. Jeez, I'm Mark. I, I, I am ripened like a wine or whatever. <laughs> Ripened like a wine. Aged, ripened. Woo! I want Monty wine now. No, you don't. I wonder what kind of wine it would be. Maple syrup. It's not wine! It's, we'll make it. It doesn't matter. Could you, could you, can, can you ferment maple syrup? You can ferment anything if you try hard enough. Yeah, also, that's just, that's just it, sugar it, it, water. Be any flavor but cherry wine. That's all you need. Actually, strawberry wine. I think my, my mm -hmm. wine would be a strawberry wine. Anyway, please cherry please. wine sounds good. I'm, I'm good, Fuck so that. we can move on to the next person. Uh, speaking of playing good characters, Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. So I've got some good news and I've got some bad news announcements for you guys. I'm going to start with the good news because that's what I was told to do. Uh, my buddy Gabriel Brown was on America's Got Talent. He and his brother, if yeah! you're not familiar with Gabe, he goes by Black Griffin. He's the singing voice for Alistair and Husband Hotel. Ooh. He did an amazing job on America's Got Talent. Go check out his act. I linked it on my Twitter page. Yeah. The bad news is, unfortunately, the entertainment industry and all of us as a whole lost a friend in Billy Komets over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He passed away because of cancer. There's currently a GoFundMe page that is up. It was meant for his cancer treatment, but it's now being put towards his family and his funeral. So that's GoFundMe. If you just search his name, Billy Komets, it'll pop up. Um, but I just wanted to give a shout out to Billy. I didn't know him personally or very well, but I did meet him a couple of times. And if you look at the outpouring of support from all of the actors across the industry, he definitely touched a lot of lives and probably voiced a lot of characters that you guys fell in love with. So if you have anything to spare, definitely go go send it Billy's way. Yeah, I've heard uh, nothing but good things about the guy. Yeah. All right. And uh, if, hmm? Connor, can I, just, can I just say one more thing? Cause I almost actually did forget about something. Sure. We are running uh, out of time. Yeah, really quick, please. Uh, Zarel, funny animation man. His pilot monkey wrench is coming out. You'll hear me be a funny talking cat on July 18th, which is my birthday. There you go. Done. All right. Monty, where can they find you and what are you up to? I beat N Walker. Yay, finally. Oh, fucking finally. <laughs> so now you'll never play 14 again, right? Uh, you joke, but I've been playing. I We had a week off. I played a lot of 14. But I beat N Walker. Um, but that doesn't mean send spoilers or anything like that because there are people who I follow who also are still playing the game. Uh, but yes, I beat N Walker finally. I had time to do so. It was great and amazing, and I loved it so much. And I could talk about it, but it's spoilers. But more importantly, on the streaming side of things, uh, unfortunately, I didn't start Majora's Mask this past week because uh, my sleep schedule has been all over the place. But um, and unfortunately, Dungeon of the Mad Mage is still going to be on hiatus because Bracky got power surgery, and you know that robot arm isn't really working just yet. So uh, Bracky Zoid, who's our artist, uh, unfortunately had to get a surgery, but he's doing okay. Um, so they don't make unfortunately, arms like they used to. They really don't. Um, so. Instead, I'll be playing more Elden Ring 
um, which has been great, and I've actually been really enjoying it. I fought Gert. I forgot the real name again. I, ver I fought Gert. Margit. Margit, that's it, right. I fought them and beat them, and it was it was a fun time. I really like that fight. It really tests you, and I can't wait to play a bit more of the game. Um, I feel like I have a billion years to go because apparently like that's the first thing, and I feel like I've played a lot, but whatever. Anyway, that's it for me. Fucking Gert. Who is Gert? <laughs> Gert. <laughs> Gert the Fall. I forgot his the name. The lonesome I, Gert eater. I, I called him Gert because I couldn't remember. <laughs> Salute. You're blessed. Uh, no, that's uh, my job. Man, almost uh, forgot about myself. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Come check out my Sunday streams. I'm playing Legacy of Cain. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm like two thirds of the way through Soul Reaver and we'll be moving on to Soul Reaver 2 next. I am just blowing through this series already. I don't remember it being this short. Uh, I don't want my time with it to be over, but it, it soon will be. But, uh, got two more games or three actually. Uh, but yes, uh, check out my DMs Guild where I'll be releasing, uh, another, uh, hidden subclass. Don't worry. Uh, not even I know what it is yet. <laughs> Um, not exactly. Yeah. Also, Dead House Sonata. It's a thing. Check out the playable tech demo. It's pretty cool. Um, other than that, uh, Monty appears to be rolling some diehard dice back there. I am. Uh, yeah, and I they am. have they happen to be the sponsor of today's episode. <laughs> diehard uh, die dice is your one stop shop for both dice and dice accessories. Connor, uh, Connor, yeah. they got uh -huh. so many gay dice this month. Yeah, gay dice. That's right, gay uh, dice. <laughs> Go pick like up your gay dice. Four hundred gay dice. A lot of gay dice, actually. I think I saw one uh, just scrolling through Twitter um, that looked very interesting. It had like a, a a rainbow, and the rest of it was silver. It was awesome yeah, looking. Yeah, it's like a band of rainbow. It's so good. But they have a lot yeah. of different dice, not just metal. They have some plastic ones too, as well. Definitely, definitely check them out, and definitely check Indeed. out their dice trays. I I want another one. <laughs> Go pick up your gay dice now. They 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 roll better. It's been proven. Uh, but <laughs> head on over to uh, dieharddice.com uh, and uh, use the code unexpectables exclamation point to save 10% on your order. And some of that money is thrown back to us so we can keep making shows like this one. <laughs> uh, and with Austin that, gets to eat. yes, uh, he's he's got the premium hamster wheel now. Uh, them good wood chips. Uh, but yes, got some bits and subs to read off. I won't be reading any messages because we're running low on time. But, uh, Miss Tweedums, thank you for gifting uh, a tier one sub to the Citric King. Gauze21, hey. thank you for the five bits. Bazdog25, thank you for the bit. Frostflame6, thank you for the tier two sub. A cat named Garbage, thank you for the, what is this? 25 subs? Wow. To the community. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I am Spite. Thank you for the 500 bits. Uh, Zebzebzebiel. Thank you for the 100 bits. Fantastic, Callum. Thank you for the 26 months. Gamaleo. Thank you for the five subs gifted to the community. Snapshots. Thank you for the 100 bits. Ransack 16. Thank you for the 22 months. Killer Knight 007. Thank you for the prime sub for three months. A cat named Garbage. Thank you for the 1,500 bits. Uh... Draconian 9, thank you for the 24 months. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the 27 months. Vorpal Song, thank you for the 26 months. The Nargakuga Tamer, thank you for the 1,400 bits. Uh, Tommy Toon, thank you for the 500 bits. Magic Ninjago, 10 years of Spin Jitsu, thank you for the 19 months. Pika Fan, thank you for the 27 months. Dr. Onats, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subage. Uh, Drew Morg, thank you for the two months of prime subage pingu crimson thank you for the 13 months of prime subage <laughs> uh ran cossack thank you for the 27 months renfield 88 thank you for the 27 months welsh 93 thank you for the 27 months the fox of death thank you for the nine months of prime random man thank you for the 27 months man of many faces thank you for the 18 months uh paleo jonas thank you for the 100 bits john Adon, thank you for the 27 months then Maru Karos Corwin, thank you for the 13 months. Darth Moss, 4077, thank you for the one bit. 
Ace Bounty, thank you for the 12 months. Ox Factor, thank you for the 20 months of Prime. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 20,000 bits. <laughs> wow. Good wow. lordy Lou. Crap, thank you. Thank you so much, Bubba Bob. Bazdog25, thank you for the five bits. Dippin' Pipples, thank you for the 100 Jeez. bits. Nice. <laughs> Uh, Retro Royal Knight, thank you for the two years of subbing. Error 404, data not found, thank you for the 100 bits. Kid Shinigami 420, thank you for the two months of Prime. I found you and my pants, thank you for the 14 months. Uh, uh, Mr. You Seek, thank you for the 50 bits. The Winged One, thank you for the 27 months. And Teleris, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. Lunatic Crow, thank you for the 27 months at Tier 2. Fearless Monster, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Protoss103, thank you for the 27 months. Captain Thunderbolt, thank you for the 5 bits. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 additional bits. Dragon Karask, thank you for the 12 months. Error 404 not found, thank you for the 100 additional bits. Uh, Mayor of Spicy Town, thank you for the 6 months. Uh, Mr. Yuseek, thank you for the 45 additional bits. Drago Soon, thank you for the 20 months. Zen Lita, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, Baylight, thank you for the two months. Mad Joker 75, thank you for the five months. Sam X1, thank you for the 24 months. Skyrim Luigi, thank you for gifting a sub. James uh -huh. Rochal, thank you for, for the 27 months at tier two. Mad Tom K, thank you for the 27 months. Sloth 103, thank you for the 27 months. Societal Sky, thank you for the 95 bits. Divine Devil, thank you for the 25 months. ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 27 months. And ATLA Gamer, thank you for the 100 bits. Wow. Good job, Connor. That was really you impressive. Did it. <laughs> uh, you did it. Huge, huge shout out to everybody. I would like to thank the fan artists, by the way. The art that came in this week and all the art that comes in is amazing and we love it. Absolutely. Um, yes. Thank you guys so much. And again, for those of you guys who don't know, in case you're watching on YouTube or if you just don't know, uh, if you use the hashtag Unexpectables or at the Unexpectables Twitter, we can add your art to our lovely slideshow, like this picture currently of, of everybody, everybody squirrels. scarfing <laughs> undead squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Speak for uh, yourself, that's, buddy boy. That's in uh, reverse, actually. The, the Twitter is at underscore Unexpectables underscore, right. and the hashtag is the Unexpectables. The Unexpectables, that's correct, yes. So definitely, uh, if if you if you draw any art and you want to share it, we will we will put it on the stream overlay. But with that being said, are you guys ready to get into it? Yeah. No. Okay. No. okay. Let's roll the intro. Bye, chat. <laughs> <laughs> So, when last we left our adventurers, Gaius Agni, Iskan Seatlolly, Otho, Kai, and Milo Brightbeam, the party has successfully saved the hamlet of Acorn from a horrid tree curse. 
and successfully collected an orb of Hoketh. Now on the road southward, the party has made their way to Trist, a town on the base of the Goathead Mountains. With very little gold to their person and the temptation of goods and books and other items in front of them, the party has decided to take on a quest, investigating a break-in at a local bakery. Now, as the dawn dawns, we return to the Unexpectables. Two. <laughs> so, as you guys awaken the following morning, a particular note, um, the outsider didn't return to the in-room last night. Oh. Did, did oh. he get lost? Uh, there was a note said that he's going to be probably staying at someone's house of an old friend's and that he'll be back at some point. That did sounds he suspect. <laughs> hmm. Where did he get friends? <laughs> Jesus, he's, he's, he's only known by name in this entire freaking town. <laughs> yeah, you do know that he. A lot of people seem to kind of know who he was, but in mm. like a not in like oh my god, he's famous, so, and more like oh, it's you kind of way. So did did he get someone to write the note for us, or did he write the note himself? It. You don't know what his handwriting <laughs> looks like, so you're not sure. The answer Mom. is yes. <laughs> I just tried to, to <laughs> decipher who ghost wrote this note. <clears throat> Can just, yeah, just trying to decipher if he knows how to write or not. Yeah, I was going to say, do we even know if he knows how to write? You don't. You've never seen him write, so. Dang it. Is anyone good at smells? Can we smell if it's his? <laughs> roll a, no, roll a tongue out there. Bible check? <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> All right. So notably, Milo is going to be very, very up and at him this day because someone has infringed upon this holy sanctuary that is this bakery. Uh, I'm just going to go around and knock on everyone's doors if you're not up. <laughs> yeah, it would be it would be a slow morning for East Gun for sure. Mm -hmm. The rain has subsided today. It is of a lovely weather. It is kind of cloudy the the nearby mountains kind of make the first of all dawn doesn't show up for a while it's like the mountains really obscure a lot of the surrounding area um but there is no rain today it is like slightly cloudy little chilly but not uncomfortably so and again the town is a hustle and bustle you hear a lot of people moving a lot of goats you see a lot of hunters coming in and out so is there anything you guys would like to do to prepare before you head out um, I'm going to give myself and Gaius that uh, lovely uh, double buttered down sun toast. So two temp HP. Swallows it whole. <laughs> Unhinges jaw like a snake. Oh, jeez, Gaius, I didn't <laughs> know you were so hungry. Reverse toaster. Just... <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> it's like Minecraft eating noises. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does the inn have like a regular breakfast? It does. Food is provided. So, okay. yeah, you guys don't have to get any rations while you're staying at the inn. It's, it's part of the fee. Yeah. And the food is not great. It's not terrible, but it's not exciting. It's not like a continental breakfast with fruit. It's like, you know, here's some stew and some bread and, you know, a glass of milk, if anything. It's very gotcha. Different. It's complimentary for a reason. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Really ah, tastes kind of, of free. <laughs> Freeloaders get out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I money. Milo is just constantly disappointed at at this this. It's been bad food every which way. It's not bad. It's just not exciting. It's not like you're getting like a like a continental breakfast in modern day. Basically, is not what I'm trying. Bad. To it's say. just boring. It's very hearty, is the best way. Like it's it's heavy in your gut, and for the people here, like the mountaineering folk and the goat hunters, uh, like fair. it seems to make a lot of sense what? to them. I imagine they wouldn't have a lot of a lot of farmland <laughs> you know, around whoa, here. What? Um, Zito, we've been over this. There's tons of goats in this town. <laughs> Zito, we've been over this. There was this. even a guy who made eye contact with you and mouthed I'm sorry while he was hurting a goat. Like It's been two weeks, you know. Hated awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Uh 
a goat that just nods at Gaius and says, soon. <laughs> so just to go over, just to go over what you guys have selected to do, um, you are the notice was help wanted for a bakery robbery investigation. The Hearthland halberdiers are requesting the assistance of well-intentioned adventurers to investigate a petty robbery. A local bakery known as Bouncing Buns Bakery has been vandalized and robbed not but a week ago. We require keen minds and experienced warriors to look into the sudden and strange event and report back to halberdier field captain Watson Trueworthy with a full report. If you're interested in taking this job, come to the Halberdier Training Yard to the north of town with this notice. Glory to King Levin Herthlin and Queen Elena Herthlin. Long may, be, long may they reign. The reward is 25 gold pieces for a completed report on the robbery, and it was posted by the field captain. It's a lot of proper names in there. It's very formal as well. Let's see. Would I be able to make a history check on... Oh, maybe I already tried. Hang on. It has been two weeks, and you also don't have your notebook, so... I don't! Would I be well, able to make a history check on the names of the uh, the royals? Yeah, go for it. Eh. Four! <laughs> They're probably a king and queen, but you're not sure. Holy Ooh. shit. <laughs> I am I mean, so glad we're playing D&D again, guys. God, I hate yeah. this. Do it was... Have... Uh, I'm sorry. I, 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 think I, I think I did have the names. It was... Uh... Well, it's in the note. Yeah. So we have the names. It's just a matter of how much do we know about them, which in my case is apparently nothing. They might be wrestlers, for all I know. <gasps> all right, so yeah, do we have any laws, brother? Do we have an address, or is this just going to be trying to find the trying to find the uh, training yard? Uh, just trying to find the training yard. Yeah, can we not just like ask people on the road where it is? I was uh, just I was about to do that. that innkeep. Yeah. Who would like to? Uh, okay, you go up to the innkeep. The innkeep is a. Grizzled man, definitely a retired, like, mountain man of some kind. Um, he's got, like, kind of slightly better kept long, kind of peppery gray hair. And, like, he looks like he looks like he should be in a Western movie is the best way to describe him. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and as you kind of walk up, he's washing a glass. And who's approaching him? Uh, uh, I, I would. I, okay. All right. Oh, so you, you approach, and he kind of looks up and goes, Can I help you? Uh, yes, pardon me, fine sir. Uh, I was wondering if you could point me and my companions in the direction of the uh, Halberdier Barracks, uh, or wherever they may be housed. We need to speak to Captain Watson. Ah, uh, uh, just take the main road to the north, and it's a very large, kind of cleared out piece of land with a big building on it. You can't miss it. But... Um... It's a little quiet there nowadays, but yeah, just take the north road. He tilts his head. Quiet. Why is that? I don't know. Something to ask the captain, I suppose. He goes back to clean the glass. Very well. Thank you. All right. So you guys oh. head out the north road. Uh, presuming you nothing else you guys would like to do before you head out. Just making mm. sure. Thumbs up. Uh, like burn the end down. Money. How about that? I'd like yes. to make some money. <laughs> All right, you guys head out. What was for... that? Zito, what'd you say? No, it, it was a joke. I just said, I, I, like heard, I, heard, I heard I want to make some money, and I was like, okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys yeah. make your way out the northern road, and again, you see a myriad of people. Um, you see, again, goats, a lot of goats. I'm going to preface this again. A lot of goats here. Um, specifically, not just goats for eating, but also a lot of goats for, like, um, carrying like carrying things you see like little goats with like little backpacks like leather backpacks that have been strapped to them and they're filled with gear and you can see like there's a kind of grizzled mountaineer looking man currently with like a trail of like four little goats that are kind of following behind them like you know like child leashes uh -huh. um, this place is godless you also <laughs> see like just like stacks of goat horns that are currently being cleared out to make drinking horns and other things. But eventually you guys meet this is godless. <laughs> <laughs> a few Mr. weird Ray. stairs, mostly designated towards Gaius and Eastcan for sure. Um, 
couple ones towards you, Otho, but nothing like out of the ordinary. It's more just like they kind of see your eyes and they're like, whoa. Um, and then Kai and Milo, you guys don't stand out at all. Like most people like the hair a little bit, but for the most part, people just kind of keep about their business, maybe do an odd glance, but they're not rude. They kind of know better. And eventually you guys make your way out of the edge of town. And at first you think the innkeeper might have lied to you, but as you head northward slightly, you do see off in the distance, and you did see it on your way in to Trist, is this large kind of cleared out flat piece of land with a somewhat large kind of wide warehouse sized building near it. Um, and there is maybe like three individuals in this very large space as you guys kind of begin to approach on the roadside, assumedly. Um, you see what appears to be um, a man with a cart currently talking to another man. Uh, and you see uh, another individual, younger, kind of like probably early 20s, spry, athletic kind of guy and like just sort of normal linens currently like just duking it out with a, um, what's the word? Uh, duh, not a man. Training dummy? Training, training dummy. dummy, thank you. Yeah. Oh my god, it was on the tip of my tongue. Uh, training dummy. Uh, but you do see another individual uh, dressed in probably more formal ar armor uh, currently talking with another gentleman who's definitely not in uniform, um, appears to be some sort of merchant of some kind, and has a cart with an oxen. Um, the cart is just loaded. And currently you see them kind of at the back of the cart talking uh, as you guys begin to approach. If I had to guess, I think that's the captain. I'd say so. As you guys uh -huh. begin to approach, you watch as the man with the cart begins to kind of make his way past you. Um, and he kind of looks and goes, oh, hail there. Uh, good morning. Uh, and as he walks past, I would say all of you would see this. Uh, oh, on the side of the cart, uh, it says Medicina Apothecary. Medicina, as in like medicine? Medicina. Sorry, Apoth. I'm going to make sure I spell Apothecary. Boom, like that. M I D I C I N A Apothecary. Sweet, I spelled it right the first time. And um, as he moves past, you can hear the telltale signs of like clinking glasses and like shifting, sort of like. I don't want to say paper because I'm scared what Eastkin's going to do if I say that, but like <laughs> like parcels, like, you know, pouches and things like that, kind of rustling as they pass by. Is, uh, is this a, a covered wagon or a closed wagon? It is, it is slightly covered. It is, it's got like a tarp over the back of it, but you can okay. see a few things in the back. You see bottles, corked bottles. Um, you do see like, like I said, like wrapped parchment parcels of some kind. Um, and there's also a, a smell like a very um i don't know how to describe it but like i without basically like an herbal smell to it so herbaceous smell. very herbaceous and not in like a pleasant like food way and more in a of medicine like a, way in a medicine way yeah. sure. uh, ooh. um milo would actually stop him really quick upon seeing that then the man kind of uh -huh. takes the oxen the oxen by the way looks like a like just completely like dopey uh, and he kind of stops, and he turns, he goes, oh, yes, and kind of looks down towards you. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but um, could you tell us where your establishment would be? <laughs> uh, it's not an establishment. It's a, a temple of sorts. Milo's eyes open real wide. Oh, oh here which, we go. Uh, which one would that be? He kind of looks at the rest of you and kind of scans over. And this guy's wearing kind of like a, like, very very simple traveling attire kind of like an apron in the front with like a like a hooded cap over top and he kind of looks and just you just see him gauging the team and he kind of goes you're not from hearthland are you well not really but the question does still stand uh when he says that can i roll a history check uh sure for what reason what information are you trying to garter uh to garter if i have recollected seeing this uh 
uh, like the name from this wagon elsewhere on my travels? Uh, I would say probably not even with a successful check because this is okay. a bit more niche. Specific um, to Trist. Uh, not really. It's just very uncommon this far uh, west. But he, he kind of turns and he smiles and he, he kind of goes he's like, uh, I came from the, the Hearthhold, the capital city of Hearthland. Um, the Medicina Apothecary is, I mean, no evidence to prove otherwise, the world's best natural medicine apothecary in the world, I'd hope. It also serves as a temple to Medicina. Can I, uh, religion check that? As a religion check, go ahead. Go ahead and roll. My goodness gracious. 17. Medicina. You don't know a lot of details about them, but the name Medicina you've seen with Yidia, which is the god of nature. They kind of are in the umbrella of that god. Uh, Yidia being the god of nature, druids, you mm. know, plants, animals, like the natural world, more or less. Uh, that is, that is, is that specifically the Northlander god of nature? Yidia is worldwide. It is not. There's different interpretations of Yidia, um, but the name Yidia is generally the most worldly used one. Some other people have other titles, but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, do you uh do you have a a branch in town? Uh, we don't do stores. The Medicina Apothecary is oh well. The word owned is doesn't make sense. It belongs to the goddess Medicina, but the royal family has a vested interest in natural medicines and ensures that they're sent to wherever they need to go. Ah, so conscription then. You're t you're taking your wares to be sell sold elsewhere? Oh, no, no, no. We don't sell these wares. They're for the people. The Medicina temple exists for the people. It oh. is uh, an extension of the royal family's want for the betterment of their people and how exactly would the normal people get a hold of these wares a private apothecary they could but but if there is um he kind of scratches the back he's like you're asking him questions and this guy's clearly just a delivery guy but he's oh, like trying yeah. to he's trying to help you out he's like scratching his head he goes if there is a sickness in a town we'll send medicine there and there's no charge anything like that it is the dedication of the king and queen and the medicina apothecary to make sure all of its people remain alive oh, good. does he look like he's carrying a lot of wares oh uh, he's carrying a decent amount yeah oh good Go ahead, sorry <laughs> what did you yeah. say guys? sorry yeah uh well goodness does this mean that there's a sickness about uh, well, the West has Easton Vale. Um, again, if you're heading West, I would recommend turning around. There's the Ash Plague, if you're not familiar. Mm. Could you tell us more about it? I don't know the details, but from what I understand is that the Ash Plague has the... It has some sort of strange affliction on divine magic meaning that a lot of spells that would otherwise cure diseases and sicknesses no longer work um but medicines born of the earth and not necessarily the divine tend to fill that gap if that makes sense so we're ensuring that most of the most of the fortresses stationed on the west are being supplied with medicines in case of afflictions where divine magics may fail. Just kind of nod to that. I see. I see. Uh, do you take donations for medicina? Uh, I don't. I don't want to take your money, honestly, because <laughs> the less money I carry with me, the better. Um, but if you're ever in the capital city, they do take donations. Um, there are the priestesses who go about and will collect donations. Um, but they tend to only really collect donations in the capital city, so. All right, I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, no, Sorry to keep you. Oh, totally fine. I have the rest of the day anyway. 
I hope I helped you with whatever information. And if you do ever find yourself in the capital city, it is a lovely time. So best travels to you. And you watch as he kind of pulls the oxen. The oxen's kind of stubborn. He goes, come on. And he kind of pulls it and it starts mm-hmm. to like trudge along with it. <laughs> yeah, Hooray. they seem to be enjoying stopping. Well, that was something to gleam from that. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you heard what he said. Where divine fails, nature provides. So we have alternative ways to actually heal if, say, faith was no longer a viable option. I think he means potions, guys. We kind of already know those work. Uh, I would say you would all have the knowledge to know that potions are magically alchemical-based, whereas this is not. This is... Straight up medicine. herbalism. It's, it's just straight up medicine, yeah. Well, never mind. Science my potions from the record. Potions are expensive for a reason because they are arcanally charged, whereas regular medicines are medicines. Are they expensive as books? God. <laughs> God. From your knowledge. <laughs> God. <laughs> It depends. It depends on I'm, what I'm, medicine you need. Bot, body, money. I'm, I'm I know, but shit. I'm giving you an answer because we're building. <laughs> you would know, and you would know this too, guys, just from you know your history. But like certain medicinal remedies are more expensive just because of scarcity, whereas mm. others are more common and easier to you know cultivate and, and get. So I would say, you know, it, it varies depending on what you're looking for. Right on. Didn't we give up like 500 gold worth of potions and acorn? Did. Yep. They weren't ours, to be fair. Woof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but remember, stealing is crime. Crime is punishment and bad. Crime that is, is bad, true. But if I not know what crime was to begin with because he didn't even fucking know who he was. Hmm. Question, I mean, question mark variable of if, if Guy does not even know what day it is. Well, yes, hindsight, hindsight is chaotic evil. It's fine. Welcome to Unexpectable's campaign too, where we steal from the from the elderly. <laughs> yeah. I actually was that old. He was just all he knew. He probably could have been like five hundred years in like body age, but his soul is like twenty. I he actually, had a pointy hat, and I like that YouTube channel. I actually got shit from people for for being honest and nice and not. Well, it's thieving. not their game. They can calm down. Anyway, speaking of game, uh, yeah. the, we make money now. <laughs> uh, you can see currently the captain himself at a distance is currently has about five crates of medicine currently that he's kind of taking stock of. He hasn't actually quite noticed you as he seems to be kind of prioritizing that prioritizing prioritizing Beautiful. that at the moment. Thank you. You. Just, pulled, you just pulled the Looney Tunes there. Prioritizing. Prioritizing. Wait, sorry, wrong campaign. Well, do, if, any of you, do any of you guys find it weird that they're keeping all the medicine to the military? Oh, you don't know that. He kind of does the Sokka arms thing at the five crates that the captain is watching. He's taking inventory, maybe dispersing it to the town. Uh, maybe. That is something that they would be tasked with doing uh, if they didn't have anything else to do. But why deliver it here instead of in the town? Because people could steal it, pocket it, you know, rather than true. the military distributing it fairly. That you is true. You can get away with a crate. Maybe you deserve it. He's gone... <sighs> we need to have I'm a just talk later. Saying, it's we, a need lot. To have, we need to have a talk later. <laughs> Right. Anyway, let's ask about this bakery thing. I'm moving oh, right. on up. Yeah, let's okay. go. As like, you quick, guys quickly approach, changes the subject. <laughs> you see the man in armor is... Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think the best way to describe him. Um, older gentleman, darker complexion, has kind of like a beard and kind of goatee combo. Um, older, and the best way I can just describe it, this guy is like just absolutely fit. Like, he's not like you know mu- muscle man but he's like he looks like he could run without even wheezing once like he looks incredibly fit and you see on his back is a large halberd um very well made very well kept uh kind of gleams in the sunlight and as he kind of lifts up and kind of places a crate uh you know on top of a table and kind of basically is just keeping a clipboard he hears you approach, he turns up and goes, whoa, oh, jeez. It kind of, like, grabs his chest as he got shocked by you. And he goes, 
Hail, how can I help you? And he kind of closes up the book. Uh, which, one of us, which one of us has the notice? Uh, I would it be Gaius? Uh, I, think I think it would Gaius be Gaius. Yeah. Uh, hello. Gaius holds up the paper. Oh, he kind of takes it and he goes, Oh, excellent. Um, yes, you are. I am Gaius Agni, and these are my companions. I like kind of like hold my arm back to everyone else. Very good. Um, yes, you're not from town, are you? No, not in the slightest. You seem okay. to be getting that a lot. That's fine. I I would like everyone to roll me a general group charisma check real fast. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but, uh, in that. Ah, good. 12. 11. This is a straight roll, so the, the save on this is much lower. So it's not a charisma save, it's a charisma check. It's a charisma standard. check. It's a yeah, charisma just... throw. Yeah. Hot Natural damn. 20. Wow. Nice. 21. 21. Hi. Wow. 40. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We just strike a JoJo pose. It's fine. Yeah, you guys are really like... <laughs> the, uh, the man kind of goes and goes, ah, I see, I see. Uh, my name is... B -b 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 Sorry, grabbing his name. Nathan? Uh, Nathan? No, <laughs> his name is not Nathan. <laughs> my name is uh, Watson Trueworthy. A pleasure to meet you. I am the uh, field captain of this... Uh, platoon of halberdiers though he kind of looks over you see the one guy like fighting the the dummy and is like you know really training he goes we're a little um low in town right now but um we're really glad you're able to take the call and, and help us out uh the it seemed... mm? sorry it, it did seem like a relatively simple matter are you understaffed in a sense i we are things he kind of leans up against the crates of medicine and kind of rubs his nose and goes there's a lot going on to the west um and if you didn't know the neighboring country of east and vale has been afflicted by a rather oppressive curse um, and unfortunately, things like to wander through. Um, we have oh. several reports daily of undead coming through. Uh, not to mention, uh, he kind of scratches his neck and he goes, further to the south in the mountain region, there have been reports of a large, and we have it under control, uh, a large skeletal dragon. Um, qua? <laughs> yeah. In the, in the um, south. In the south, it's been seen, but it hasn't attacked, luckily. But, uh, I mean, we, we've had how? zombies, we've had all manner of really weird beasts coming through, animals that have partaken in undead flesh that have gone crazy. It's been a time. Hey, no, hey Monty. I'm sorry, you... Sorry, real, real quick, just point of order when we were in runnel and we mm -hmm. saw the Drekalich fly overhead wasn't he flying north yeah they wouldn't okay. have been around this area gotcha so this it's also different. been a year i know it's, it's been, a year, been a year but yeah this skeletal dragon as you say how far south was it spotted well more southwest, um, Goathead Rock, which is a village in the mountains. Um, people are coming in and telling us about it. And we've sent men up there, which is why we have less here. Um, and then most of our men have been sent westward to the Hearthion. Do you have a map actually on you? Everyone uh, turns to Eastgon. Mark, <laughs> gonna just before okay. you even look at him, he's already pulling out. We, we need a, his we need whole a collection. We need a meme template of like of Eastgon doing that thing with like uh of a uh, George Lucas like right in front of uh, JJ's fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, Mark, you might want to turn down your input. I heard that. No one else did. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I was the only one that heard that. You were you were too loud. None of what I said. 
Oh, no, it's true. just the woo. Oh, gotcha. Uh, <laughs> Captain True or the like kind of gives you kind of moves some of the crates of medicine over and you place your map on the table and he reveals this. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, oh brother. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, brother. Map. Map. Nope. Come on. Come on. Map. Behold space. Map. Behold. Map. Right there. <gasps> A castle. <gasps> uh, okay. Uh, so is that like a border station? Uh, Arth it's a border fortress, yes. He's like scribbling notes next to the location on his it's map. It's called Hearthion Keep. It's currently where we're stationed at the moment. We being the majority of my men at the moment under a different field captain. So wait, is the dragon from here or elsewhere? Uh, it's from Eastonvale. No, I mean, where is it right now? I assume in Eastonvale somewhere. Shifty eyes, shifty eyes, okay. <laughs> well, that aside, you have a bakery robbery you wish for us to investigate? Yes, more important business. Um, Bruce is the owner of the bakery. Um, Bruce. Yes. Bruce the Baker. Mm -hmm. Bruce. He's not Do happy about the necessary investigation. Usually we are very thorough with this, but given our lack of men at the moment, um, we're hoping that someone else can do the report, essentially, while I can assess other things. Um, and the other men here are either injured or ill. Um, but to my knowledge, um, the breakery was broken into in the middle of the night uh, probably about a week ago or so. Uh, less than probably, maybe like five-ish days, maybe yeah, five now. Um, whoever was responsible broke the window and made their way inside. But what's particularly strange is they didn't steal anything. So, it's not a robbery. Well, we don't know that. When, when I say they didn't steal anything, I mean they didn't steal anything of value. There's... The money was all left. Anything of expensive tools or makes or secret recipes weren't taken. Everything was kept. So if they took something, and he kind of taps and kind of slides over a piece of paper to you, goes, I want to know what they took. For 25 gold, if you can confirm what was taken. But... This was not on the notice. If you find who's responsible, I will pay you an additional 25 gold. Oh, I could almost afford us a whole book. <clears throat> God. <laughs> We're not getting books anytime soon, kids. <laughs> Grab Milo by the top of the head. Shut up. <laughs> like the baby from Uzumaki. Squints. <laughs> <laughs> So, did Bruce not report anything missing? Not to my knowledge, no. He's... Listen, Bruce is not the most friendly man. Um, he's not, like, terrible, but he's he's very impatient. Um, so... Uh, I have one question. Yes. Would we be the first to enter the property ever since? Has he not reported, uh... Has he not reported uh, there being any disturbances, like, on either second floors or even a basement of this man's we've, domicile? We've kept the bakery kind of closed off until such time as someone could step forward to herald the uh, investigation. So now that you're here, um, I can give you the proper documentation and you can go speak with him and he can finally return to his bakery. And again, he might be a bit testy about that because I'm sure that a few days out has... Not been great for business, but protocol requires steps be taken. I'm sure he will be pleased that we'll be able to get his business up and running again. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Here is your paperwork as he kind of hands you uh, what appears to be a warrant to enter the premises uh, and also a letter of introduction for Bruce as well as an address for Bruce as well. And the warrant be used to arrest Bruce. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, no, it is okay. just. I just talk wanted to know him. what does, our options were. Does does <laughs> does Bruce prefer Bruce or a, a, another handle, another name? Bruce. Bruce is fine. All right, just want to make sure. All right, gents. I have one last question. Absolutely, go for it. If we were to find out who did this, would we have any legal authority to apprehend this individual? Yes, absolutely. Very well. <laughs> we all look at each turns other. <laughs> towards Gaius. <laughs> These are the jobs I crave. <laughs> All right, then, gents. Anything else? Uh, directions to the bakery, please. Uh, you want to head? He starts. To, he gives you the directions, and right as on. you guys <laughs> leave, <laughs> as you guys head out, he gives a salute, and you guys make your way out. And he, as you guys leave, you hear him whistle. And go, hey, come here and help me with these. And the guy training goes, oh, kind of rolls his eyes and puts his. <laughs> and is, is there anything particular about his salute? Uh, very formal. Um, nothing. Are you looking for something in particular, or? I'm just curious if there's like a particular Hearthland way to salute compared uh, to any other country. It seems to be like firm, clenched fist at the side, and then like clenched hand over the heart, okay. kind of press to the heart, and then a nod, and very, very poised as well. Okay. Yeah. Clearly well practiced. Oh, very well practiced. Notably, it seems like they use their offhand. You get the sense that if they were to have their halberd out, it would be the hand that's not wielding the halberd at I base see. level. Okay, So, cool. Yeah. All right, you guys make your way back into town, eventually finding the domicile of one Bruce. It is a very small, very, like, murder shack looking house <laughs> um, shack. there is currently in the front of the house on the porch is like a rack with just animal skins is the and best way to describe this man it. was was selling bread before yep out of this murder house yeah. yep oh my hey God. don't so, don't judge don't judge a bakery by its cover so this is the bakery no, this is the house of the baker. Oh, I misunderstood. Because you okay. need to collect him before you go to his his bakery. I see. Uh, we if, have a if, warrant. If if you don't mind, I'll speak in baker to baker. I might be able to, you know, not anger him any more than he may already be. I don't know. By all Just means, don't, don't insult his bread. You don't insult bread. What's wrong with you? You, you eat have it before. It's gonna walk to the door. <laughs> And he uh, the door, me. the door itself has like a plaque on the outside with like antlers coming out. What a wonderful house of death you have here! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like terrible, like it's not like screaming at you, but it, it's very outdoorsy is the best way to put it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> just uh, just a brief uh... FBI open up. Hey. You hear some rummaging inside, and you hear immediately two dogs start barking. He's a loud, I hate to say it, it's Sherman. It's Sherman barks. God, uh, Monty, you're, mean, you're reminding me of rural Arkansas right now, and I don't like it. <laughs> don't, okay. I've never been to Arkansas. I've never saw it, but... I've never been more terrified so, in all so my you life. Haven't, you haven't Arkan seen it? Yes, that's the joke I just made, Mark. That, 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 that. Uh, you hear some moving around. You say, damn it, dogs, and kind of hear some shuffling, and the door opens. You see immediately this same height as you, Milo, oh. like droopy-jowled, floppy-eared, kind of gray, bloodhound-looking kind of dog. And immediately it's pulled back, and the door opens, and you see what could only be described as a murderer standing <laughs> in the doorway. He ah. is completely bald uh, with a like a black beard with like a white stripe of hair that kind of like this one line of hair scars on the face uh currently like wearing like sort of loose clothing and holding a cleaver in one side and he kind of leans to the door and goes who are you uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, my name is Milo Brightbeam. Uh, these are my companions. We've been sent here to uh 
investigate what happened at your bakery. And as a fellow baker, might I say, I, I feel your pain. <sighs> For fuck's sake. You watch as he just turns around to the table and in one single motion just shunk, puts the, the butcher cleaver in the table and kind of makes his way out and goes, are we going to my bakery? If and that be all right. He slams the door shut. You watch as he locks his door and he just he starts walking without acknowledging you guys. You just hear him uttering under his breath. He's like, fucking true worthy in his fucking paperwork. Just need to get my fairy cakes done. And he watches he begins to walk down the road. Iskan leans over to Kai. I don't know how he sells anything at all with that countenance. Wait, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's just frustrated that his business is shut down. He answered the door with a machete. Some um, cleaver. Meanwhile, I was like, did you say fairy cake? Yeah, fairy cake. How do you make it? He's just so Well, chipper. first you get the flower and you begin to walk. <laughs> and like the way uh, he describes it, he's just like, first you get flour. It's got to be the good stuff. Right, and right. The sugar. Right. It's got to be properly imported. If your man doesn't bring you the right sugar, you do what's necessary to get the right sugar. I see. I completely understand that the, the sugar is the main component. Then you Absolutely replace, critical. Then you got to find a new guy, replace the old guy, no sooner than 5 p.m. <laughs> well, I'll give it to the captain. At least he found some people who are mildly competent. Oh, well, thank you for that. Listen, I don't care what you find in there. I just want to open my business again. And eventually you guys turn the corner and you see the bakery. It is pink. It is yes. very cute. It has a little sign with like a rabbit on it, Bouncing Buns Bakery. And the front window is completely shattered. It is smashed, and there are like some boards just kind of blocking it. This establishment's amazing. Except for the whole. Well, mm -hmm. except for that. And the fact that it's been closed for five days. He watches, he again pulls out that ring of keys and <laughs> opens up the door and he gestures for y'all to go inside. I want to ask him a question. Go ahead. Uh, are, I don't know if this will sound strange to you, sir, but just so we can have a full account of every nook and cranny inside here, are there any basements or whatnot that we you would like us to investigate? No, but there is a back door. Right. Very well. Thank you. Guys is like That's like keeping a very six inches space apart from this <laughs> yeah. man at any given time. When you guys enter, do you guys enter inside? Sure. Yes. All right. When you guys enter inside and look back, you see him framing like the the door frame, and it literally looks like a horror movie for a brief second as you guys enter inside. Uh, immediately, yeah. your feet hit broken glass. It's just all over the ground. Uh, there is there is a counter with a glass display. Um, it is completely empty. Um, except for a few very stale looking pastries that have, you know, probably not been touched, unfortunately. Um, there is what appears to be a, um, like a shelf behind where all the bread would be kept, um, and baskets and various other things. And then on the right side, like if you're looking in from the window on the right side, uh, is, um, basically more bread displays, mm -hmm. um, Cookies, tarts, things like that. Uh, cakes. Um, but again, all stale. All haven't been touched, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, Bruce, did, did, they, did they take anything of, of value? No! Mm -hmm. Did they take okay. anything at all? I don't know. Okay, so... Can I insight first... that? Go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Zito. I just... Oh, God, I cannot roll well tonight. Never mind. <laughs> this man seems m more annoyed than remembering is the best way. Like, gotcha. he's a little blinded by inconvenience is the best way you're able to gleam. All right, kind of well. walks in, closes the door, and now you feel a little bit more scared that the door's closed. Um, but he does point. Behind the counter, There is a there is, like, a door that leads to another segment. He goes... That's where I do my work in there. Go ahead and look around. And then the back door is right behind that shelf right there. And that's all I have. And there's, you said, and there's mm. the trap door that leads to the psychological torment room. 
You said the glass was on the inside of the building, right? Yes. So it was, was there any the glass? Was there any glass on the outside, as if someone was, you know, may have bumped into it while leaving or escaping or anything? Uh, roll an investigation check. I will do that thing that you just asked me to do. 19. 19. Nice. As you kind of look between the inside, the inside has significantly larger chunks of glass for sure. The outside does have some glass, but it seems more like residual, and a lot of it doesn't seem to have been crushed down, which means, suggests to you that whoever entered here did not leave the same way. Hmm. Hey, uh, guys, uh, it looks like if they broke in from the outside, they didn't leave the same way. Maybe we should check the back door. Can the front door be unlocked from the inside? No. Hmm. And the back door it is. I was gonna... Well, I, I guess we got the answer, so never mind. What were you gonna do? Well, I wanted to see if uh, there was a sort of pattern from the broken glass that indicated that Wherever this person went, the debris would aim towards the direction of whatever room they walked into. It seems like the way that the glass kind of goes, and you do see that there's some that's been crushed underfoot, and of course you guys have also crushed some on your pathway in here, but a lot of it doesn't reach the point of the counter where any other location would be. Like the storefront itself, it doesn't look like... I'll say this, Gaius. It doesn't look like whoever came in here crush the gr glass around the displays on the right side of the building based well, off of just a okay. surface observation. And you would also think that if this was a person and not an object, there would be, you know, bodily, like, like bodily evidence elsewhere, like blood or hair or something. But I don't know if that requires a check. Uh, that would also be an investigation check. Fuck it, I'll try. 18. 18. Nice. You don't see any, like, you don't see any bodily things. Um, I'd say with the night, that's a pretty good roll. Looking at the glass and just the way it looks, and you also have a lot of experience with this as well. This actually kind of makes sense for you, Gaius. Whatever broke the window was not a person, but probably a object or a weapon. Hmm. All right, so... I assume, well, I guess that means that there was intent to break this down, or at least an object flew through. All right, well, let's check out this back room. Okay. As you guys go behind the counter to the right, as you kind of turn going behind the counter, is like a slightly smaller, um, like, kind of like hallway, but really short, and it's framed by just big sacks of flour. Uh, and then there's the back door. And then if you're going straight behind the counter, you can see the brick ovens for the bakery as well as like the mixing bowls and sort of like the large table. Um, where would you guys like to look? You guys can split up here if you I want. I was just yeah, Because I want to, I, I definitely want to check out the back room, but I think half the group wants to check out the door. Well, we can split it up for sure. Yeah. yeah. So hey. who wanted to hit the room? Uh, Otho, why don't you come with me to the back door? I could use of your eyes. I was gonna check inside the oven. Okay. Whoa, you careful. In... <laughs> uh so that means that Gaius, Milo, and Kai, are you also going into the back kitchen? I will. Okay. Excellent. As the three of you enter in, uh, we'll start with actually we'll start with Otho and, and um That other uh, guy. Otho and Eastcan. Sorry, a lot of boy. names. It's all good. Uh, o Otho and Eastcan, as you guys head to the door, um, what are your backgrounds? Is my first question. Uh, I am an artisan. Okay. And, and Otho? I am a courtier. Okay. Uh, as you guys head to the back, you do see that the back door is not as solid as the front door. Uh, and looks untouched. Uh, I would like to investigate the hallway for uh, 
anything that looks out of place, anything that might have been bumped or nudged out of the way. And I, as I'm doing that, I'll I'll suggest to Otho, could you maybe see if like the door was, I don't know, if the lock was picked or anything. Okay, hey, I would say both of you roll investigation checks. He scanned for the hallway and Otho for the door. Yeah. Twelve. Uh, being proficient in in lock picks, would I have any sort of advantage? I'll give you advantage. Yeah, I'll give you advantage. Right. Investigation with advantage. Thank goodness. Oof. Here I go again. Much That's better. Eighteen. Oh, yeah. 18. <laughs> East can got a twelve. Yes. Uh, as you look around, everything here is untouched. Like it's it's. It's wide enough that if someone were, say, to move through, like, you wouldn't really nick any of the bags. So, unfortunately, you don't really get much there. But, Otho, as you kind of look at the the lock itself, you do see some scrape marks. It is clearly has been picked. Mm, yes. This has been picked. Ah. Uh, okay. Meanwhile, so... in the kitchen, mm -hmm. as this is happening simultaneously... <laughs> <laughs> Gaius, Milo, and uh, Kai, as you enter into the kitchen, um, the most immediate thing that you see is that all over the floor are icing utensils, like spoons and like icing. Don't know what the word is, but you know the thing I'm talking about. It's like mm. those metal flat spatulas that you use for icing and like whisks and things are just all over the floor. Mm. Oh, treat this like that. Oh, someone, in a, oh, someone in a hurry. Or well, maybe someone trying to cover their tracks. Um, I'm going now for whatever it may be worth, Monty. Uh, I'm going to cast light on my right arm emblem just to have a little bit of looky loo capability. You got um, it. So I'd like to investigate. Boy, oh boy. Um. Actually, is there is there anything else to tell us about the room besides just the scattered utensils? Nope, just the scattered utensils. Gaius, you stick your head in the oven, um, and it is obviously not lit. Um, it's nothing inside. Hope not. <laughs> yeah, nothing's inside. Um, it's just very well cleaned. Okay. I want I want to look for jostled drawers, possibly small broken locks, anything because because it looks like this was kind of ransacked, like someone is looking for one particular thing. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Can I ask uh, Orin for guidance? Sure. Excellent. Uh, let's see here. Investigation. Kai, is there anything you wanted to look at at the same time? 21. Uh, I'll wait to see what he turns up. Uh, you, can help, right. you, you can help me build a sandwich that's a person tall. <laughs> Dude, let's Gooby and Shaggy it. I'm down. Oh Fucking God. go. <laughs> uh, Milo. Mm -hmm. The It's not so much the fact that any of the drawers have been messed with. It's the suspicious fact that none of them have been touched. It's like they weren't looking for anything. It's like they didn't search. But everything's on the floor. But all the utensils are on the floor. And as you look, you notice all the utensils, not only they're on the floor, but they're also piled up on top of the, the tabletop. It looks as if they were dumped. Dumped? Is there, is there a big enough container in here? Nope. Just dumped out. Don't make any sense. What are in these... Uh, so, all the utensils, is there anything particular about them? Like, do they have, like... Is there, like, still, like, food or ingredients still on them? Are they made of silver? Like, anything in particular? They're all made of metal. Very well made out of metal. Um, they are all very clean. And okay. they, they've just been dumped out. Uh, can you two give me ten minutes? If there's anything you need us to look at, I, I think you need to have a, a supernatural look at this. Uh, I would like to ritual cast detect magic. Okay. You ritual cast detect magic. You detect no magic. Gotcha. Uh, Otho and Iskan, while that is happening, uh, that is the information you glean from your investigation in this chamber. Okay. 
So, at the very least, we know how they got out. Are Indeed. we all together? That is up to Eskan and Otho. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Was there anything else you noticed? Everything in the hallway seems like it's not been disturbed. Other than the telltale signs that the lock was picked. No, not really. Hmm. You know, I haven't dealt with a whole lot of break-ins, but this feels weird. Indeed. Hmm. Maybe the others found something. Okay. Yeah, good point. I have a dumb question, Moni. Go for it. Are there anything in sets? Are there measuring spoons, anything like that, that are in sets that are missing something from their set? No, as you open the drawers, you see a full set. You would know it. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, as was... you open the drawers, there are bowls. They're all fine. Right. Well, I mean the, the pile. Yeah. Like, the dumped out pile of utensils. Oh, the dumped out pile? It is all long things. It is, like, icing things. Spoons, Just all long. Whisks. Yeah. I, I was going to say, maybe we, like, just deconstruct the pile so everything's, like, spread apart. Maybe we could find something different after, like, getting it out of a pile. I want to dust for prints so bad, but there's <laughs> no way to do it. <laughs> Wait! Money? Uh-huh. Is there any flour? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yeah, yeah, there is. No, there's don't do this flour. to the poor baker. No! <laughs> Just dump out all his flour. <laughs> no, don't dump out the flour. Just if if there's a if the did 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 everyone did everyone else come back? Yeah, we were heard, yeah we know. were coming back. So we have some news. Uh, so do we. You go first. The back door was very clearly lockpicked, so we think we know the way that our culprit got out of the building. And so in here, there's this giant pile of utensils, right? But they were dumped out, and there's nothing in here that would store something that big. You think they took the container? They might have. But Maybe nothing was stolen. Container. But nothing was stolen, though. Nothing of value. Unless they weren't looking for something that was monetarily valuable. Do we have the ability to talk to Bruce still, or is he just yeah, gone? Yeah, he's, 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 no, he's dead. He's leering <laughs> in the main area next to the door, smoking a pipe, which is making him even scarier. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna uh, if if I'm gonna go talk to him if you all would let me. Nice what? knowing you, Bruce. Did you have a big container that had more of your long instruments in it, your your whisks and your your spoons and things like that? Oh yeah, I did. It was like a cup. Had a cup. Is that yeah. a big cup? Yeah, it was a big cup. Big kind of silver cup. It wasn't worth the silver, though. Do I have anything written on it? No. Because we didn't... We didn't We didn't find that, did we? No. Nope. That's missing. So, that's... Bruce, that's missing. All, the, all the, the utensils that were in that cup, they're all strewn about. You're telling me that somebody came in here broke my window, ruined my fairy cake release for a cup I barely played a few copper pieces for. It doesn't make sense to me either, but there's something. What's the fairy cake made out of? Well, you see, and he starts to... <laughs> yes! Fairy cakes no, 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 Nothing in there gives you any more information than you would already have, unfortunately, as he just describes the process and the tools and whatnot. Seems very bog standard. Okay. Well, we know what they took, so that's that objective done. Well, we... wait. You said you paid a few copper for the bowl or the cup? Mm. Where did you get it? Who did you buy it from? I uh, got it from the general goods shop like five years ago. Does the person who sold it to you still work there? I mean, yeah, but I mean, that was a long time ago and it was just a cup. Well, if he's you know. a good merchant, he'll remember. 
And you Maybe we should ask him. Us. What's up, I, I don't remember who sold it to me. I got it at a general goods shop, but I don't remember who sold it to me. I asked if he could open the door for us to, to the back. Yeah, absolutely. He walks over with his keys and he unlocks it and opens up the door. You can see it like backs like to the outside of the town, like the edge of town, and just like some shrubs and stuff. Uh, Bruce, where did you keep the cop originally? Uh, I kept it on my prep table. How big is this table, Moni? Quite large. Moni, would you entertain my stupidity? Absolutely. I always, that's why I'm here. I mean, that's pretty much every week for us, yeah. <laughs> Bruce, can we use some of your flour? You'll sell your horses there. <laughs> It got I mean, really scary when the music cut off. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the timing on that was terrifying. Bruce, listen. As a fellow baker, I know what that means. But to save... milk flour. This stuff doesn't grow on trees. How much is it worth? Grows in fields. Good <laughs> life. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a persuasion check. It slits your throat. Bruce, I'm, actually, fucking, I'm actually proficient in this. Please roll well. I'm just about to fucking wake Thir up into level three. I cannot roll well tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> Thirteen's fine. Take it from the bag in the kitchen. You're not cutting open a fresh bag for this shit. No, that's not fine. That's life. that's fine. I understand. I only need a little bit. Uh, I want to try and flower down the table to see if anything pops out. Handprints, just anything odd. I love you, Gaijin. That's not how that works, and you just dump flour on the table. <laughs> That's fine. I am a big goof. I'm going to investigate outside in the back. Roll <laughs> a either invest investigation, survival, or perception check of your choice. I would like to assist, if that's all right. Good, because the only With thing I have is a flat zero. I will do a survival check. With a 19. Damn, dude. Nice. The rain helped you here. Guys, as you kind of go and kind of squat on, it on the ground and kind of look around, you notice that there are footprints that have been made slightly deeper from the rain. Not only that, there's more than one set. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my. Well, whoever done this, I like, I shout out to the back. It was done by multiple people. We have two foot, two or more footprints out here. Oh, you mean we huh. truck him? I'm gonna attempt. Monty, I will attempt to salvage what flower there is. <laughs> you kind of start sweeping in your hand. Yeah, you ever, insult you ever... to injury. You fucking scoop it back in and then pour it in the dirt. <laughs> Bruce is just like standing in like the doorway and just looks at you and like the, the top lip is twitching slightly. He goes, leave it. Thinking of thinking of ways to murder you. <sighs> I don't care. <laughs> I, I, Bruce, sorry about that. We're gonna go try and catch these culprits. I, I'll pay it back for the flower. Okay, <sighs> this is gonna be my silly question for the day, Monty. I can't wait. Can I? <laughs> can I attempt to sketch the footprints? Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's a little muddy. I will say, give me a, fuck, what would this be? Just a charisma check. Okay. For <laughs> art, I'll say that much. There's a T check. Okay. Huh. I'm, I'm going charisma for artistic application here, not uh, okay. drawing. Technical, um, yeah. Because you're looking at it and you're drawing it, and that's like an artistic thing, which charisma is tied to. A 13 is pretty good. Yeah, you're able to kind of sketch out the size. And with that, and with the combination of Gaius's acute senses pointing out more footprints, uh, there are five sets of footprints here. Good Holy lord. shit. Okay, so this was a pretty big group. The Baker boy struck again. What? Nothing. Just making a stupid okay. joke. That wasn't even in character, Mark. <laughs> it wasn't even in character. <laughs> it's always in character. 
All right, let's let's get going then. If while the tracks are still somewhat fresh. Okay. Let's follow them tracks. Very easy to find. Uh, the ground here is definitely not traveled, and there are clear breaks in like the brush where people actually terrible, terrible thieves. Um, they hack their way through the thick brush to make their way into the woods. Oh, jeez. Can we take uh, the baker's machete with us? <laughs> no, it's no? a butcher cleaver and he left it at home, you guys. What is this machete thing about? Look, it one I'm, man's cleaver is another man's machete. Were, okay. I, I'm sorry, Monty, but you were painting the guy out to be as Jason-esque as possible. Seriously? I just noticed yeah. on him on, at all times. I didn't see a cleaver. I saw one of those giant horse cutting swords. You guys, <laughs> you guys are really judgmental of this poor baker. He's terrifying. <sighs> I like horror films, Gaijin. We'll see it if, if okay, but you that sounds like you like you know what? Forget it. Let's just go into the forest. <laughs> let's right, just go into guys, the dark woods where we're gonna die. Let's go die. into the spooky forest so we can get us there. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, as you guys continue moving forward, Otho and Kai, I would like you guys to roll perception checks for me. Why specifically? Because I want you guys included in the adventure. Brothers. Brother perception check. Brother perception check. Look with your brother eyes. Brother. What? No, don't roll with disadvantage. What the heck? <laughs> Three. Get oh. <laughs> Six. Okay. It's almost a 14. God, Mark, I hear you in stereo again. Sorry. <laughs> it's as just guys, the joy of both of them. <laughs> in the woods, what starts off as a 20 minute mock very quickly becomes an hour long walk. We can't and the get prince, lost. And the prints keep going. And wow. like the cuts in the ground keep going. And there's also like a weird smell that's starting. What kind of weird smell? Well, the <laughs> well, the, the 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 brothers failed to pick up on it. So oh. you're not sure. The brothers. Brother. I have failed. I'm starting to wonder if this was a good idea. We're pretty far out from town. Where Did is you... the smell coming from? Not sure. It's kind of like I, I'm trying to. I think of it's. It's almost like a tarry smell is the best way to describe Ugh. it. Like, Ugh. yeah, it's not like really, really pungent, but it's like slight, and you can slightly smell it. Question, Monty. Yes. Would I be able to identify this smell as being something naturally occurring? You don't know. I will. I will say that you're not sure. Okay. Hmm. Um. Do the do, is the cutting uniform? Like, does it get uh more sloppy, more precise? It's been pretty sloppy all the way through. Gotcha. Um. And the cuts are relatively clean. You get the sense that these have been done by a, an edged weapon of some kind. Like a machete? <laughs> a little bit like a machete, what? yeah. What? So, so, <laughs> all right, all right. It's going to back up a bit. And, and guys, what kind of feet were these? Shoes or bear or... I'm Who's assuming they were, they were shoes, right? Bear. Most of them are shoes. One of them um, actually... Uh, appeared to be clawed, not too dissimilar to your own feet, Iskan. Oh, okay. Wait, there are five? Yeah, sets yeah. of footprints. Yeah. Four of which Everyone line up. Be... Oh. <laughs> I don't think there are. Is one of these cloven? No. no. Oh. That's what I was just going to point out. <laughs> Thank God. It was us. We robbed the bakery. We, we robbed robbers. the bakery. We We're getting in a time loop. I, I put a we gun need... behind Milo's head. Uh, so you will figure it all out, huh? You couldn't leave well enough alone. <laughs> it was a baker's cop, Gaius. <laughs> Sorry. The Unexpectables Tenant Edition. And that's when mm -hmm. Kai came into the picture. <clears throat> All right, you guys keep walking, and another hour passes. And at this point, like the trees overhead are starting to make it pretty dark, and like it's almost kind of hitting dusk. Do you guys continue on? Milo I want to fucking. I want to get up in the tree and see if I can get some kind of like help with this. Sure. Okay. 
you use your mirthful leap and you you jump up into a tree. Go ahead and roll a perception. Right. Uh, before he does that, I want to give him guidance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, while he's doing that, um, <clears throat> is this an area? This is like near where we came through, right? No, this is like so. This is actually heading more towards the east, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is this? Oh. Yeah, with guidance. Go for it. That's a one d four. Yes. That's a one d four. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was with advantage. Hey. Right? Well, uh, I was just a straight roll. There was no advantage. Uh, well, That's twelve. Right. You don't see retreat. anything immediately, but you see something in the far, far distance to the east, further to the east, and it looks like, like smoke, like, a little bit. Smoke's rising to the east. Saruman. God damn it. <laughs> I hate you. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Urukai. Uh, <laughs> Manfish. <laughs> oh, how'd I, how'd I get this ring? Okay, sorry. I'm done. No! <laughs> 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 I can carry the load. <laughs> uh, does does that smell seem to be getting stronger or weaker as we continue? It on? comes and goes. It's really odd. Like there are patches for like twenty minutes where you don't smell it, and then you smell it again. You can go ahead and roll another perception check if you wish, Otho. Can I get um, <laughs> You already gave. Uh, this oh, is this is the same time. time. Okay, never mind. Never yeah. mind. Never mind. Never mind. I am. I am actually going to crouch down and I'm going to shift into my were tiger form. You oh, got uh, it. Kitty cat. To get advantage on this. Uh, you, you said perception? Yeah. What is it, boy? <laughs> it's a dog. Grandpa fell in the well? Did you do Man flesh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that will be a 17. Okay. You kind of smell and you kind of follow your nose. <sighs> And eventually you find a, like, a bush. And there's, like, this sort of, like, ambery brown liquid on it. And as you kind of look at it and smell it, that's pitch. For those who don't know, pitch is a burning fuel. Most often associated with torches. Hmm. Some sort of accelerant. Pitch, I think. <laughs> so, like... Wait. You said there was smoke, right, guys? Yes. It's like what if it's a torch? Have to be a big torch, wouldn't it? Well, smoke is rising in that distance, so... Maybe we should keep going. Let's follow the smoke. Maybe they set up a camp or something. Uh, Monty, I, I will. I will officially turn the night light on. You got it. Uh, are you approaching? It's it's not dark. It's like low light. I would say. Oh, so okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah never mind. So, so the whole the whole forest in a sixty foot radius like <laughs> fucking lights up like a Spencer's <laughs> back room. <laughs> As you guys, uh, are you guys moving stealthily or are you guys just walking? I guess stealthily. Like, the, is, I guess if we can start seeing the fire a little bit easier, like stealthily, I would guess. I I think I would be taking cues from Otho. Is he, like, tracking it? Is he um, uh, being slow about it or, or being quick? Now that he's let his uh, more bestial side come to the forefront he's sort of crouching lower to the ground and and sticking to the shadows where he can he looks like he's sort of in in hunting mode at the mm. moment so he okay. he would be approaching stealthily ah good clang 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 goes the <laughs> goat and boy clang right. clang group, clang group, goes the milo that light group stealth check everybody oh we group stealth 18 oh nice. nice this is not guy and symbol correct no, this is a group check, Got so it. it's not quite invincible. 22! Okay. Uh, Nine! Wow, guys. 15! Nine. Six. Wait, oh my god, Otho, you rolled well on a stealth check! <laughs> oh, see, it's true. Right. <laughs> just had to as be a you guys, for it. 
As you guys kind of stay low to the ground, I just accidentally opened up the fucking Microsoft shop. Go away. Um, as you guys stay low to the ground and kind of keep low, you begin to hear voices and you see light up ahead and it's not red fire, it's blue fire. Oh. You see crackling in the distance and you hear chanting and you hear an individual say, Oh, mighty gelato. Come forth and bring us your eternal laughter. And you all see this. Oh my god. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. Monty. Oh Monty. my god. <laughs> Did you just uh, make a see, cult of Italian ice cream? <laughs> you see as a uh, man in a robe holds up a large, slightly silver chalice in his hand, perfect to fit a bunch of icing implements in the air. And as you see these individuals, you see them all kind of looking towards each other, sort of chanting in the sort of rhythmic circle. Milo's just going wide-eyed. This is heresy of the highest order. What in the... Monty, actually, because I am a chef, could that lead me to any understanding of what the hell's going on here? No, it really cool. doesn't. Cool. I did a religion check, though, if you want a right. religion check. Can I guidance it? No. Like, okay. You're trying to summon a frost demon for fuck's 20. sake. 20. That cup that Bruce had his stuff in is a, is a ritual component to summon shit. Oh my god, cool. Bruce. You bought a conjuration oh. component, you idiot! And he was using it to store spoons! That's that's D, &D baby. <laughs> oh, Brucey, Brucey, Brucey. All right, all this right. is wacky. So, <laughs> how do we want to do this? Do we want to ambush? or uh, I, I, I don't want to think that reasoning with him is going to be all that helpful. Wait, but what are they doing? They're summoning something. And it's you probably watch. not good. You watch as the circle, the summoning circle flares with energy and you watch as like the other cultists now kind of go, <gasps> kind of gasp suddenly. And you watch in the center, a crack beginning to open. Oh, no time like the present. Uh, uh. I'm gonna, I'm stopping this here and now. I'm gonna fucking- Yeah, I was gonna- I'm leaping my All right. I right need everybody to roll on initiative because they are alert, unfortunately. Your stealth was successful, so they didn't catch 19. you. So we don't no, no surprise round? No surprise round, unfortunately. Dang. Seven. Right. Uh, four. Oh. Twenty. As, suck. As you guys roll your initiative and prepare leaping from the bushes in front of these cultists, that's where we're gonna take our break. Oh boy! Uh, 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 I'm gonna get more tea. Muckle armored culty be taking me, wee men. Hello. Do you want something to drink, Mark? Can I have some water? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hang on. I I'm gonna go talk to Gaiden. You okay. guys have okay. fun I, in I, the I last go halftime show. I will I will consume copious amounts of tea as well. Be right back. Green tea it is. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome into the halftime show. <sighs> well, I will speak more words to you during the break than I will at any other point tonight. What's going on, fam? I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My troubles have all gone. <clears throat> oh, wow, we have a poll. Uh, the poll is which side are you on, chat? All hill, bread, gelato all the way, Bosco, let's go. Well, that's easy. It's Bosco, let's go. Thank you for including me. I appreciate it. Uh, we got some bits. What is this? We got Jonas gifting 100 bits saying, Monty, did you just make a Danny Trejo uh, a owner of a bakery? I don't think so. Uh, Butter up dragon. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Uh, for those of you that can't see, it's a poll at the top of the Twitch, uh, the Twitch chat. Fantastic Callum with 100 bits. Oh, my God. 
It's the college students who mistook Kel for a demon in Prince Division. They're trying to resummon him. No, that's definitely a very different universe. Yes, I did hear what happened to Jeff Hardy. Uh... Glow stick, thank you for the 100 bits. Greetings from Japan. First time I'm seeing the show live due to weird time zones. Hooray. Well, welcome. That's a very long way. Uh, Ap- <laughs> Apollyon602 with 25,000 bits. Finally, after two weeks of been watching the last 30 episodes of the first campaign while at work, I finally get to watch the new campaign. You guys have made my days at work all the more fun. Here's a way of saying thanks for all of the great content. So I hate to be that guy. You didn't have to do that to watch the new show. You could have watched them concurrently. You wouldn't have missed pretty much anything. So sorry. But it's okay. We're happy to have you. Son, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. We're happy to be back. All right. I'm back. Hello. No, I hope I you guys have been filling out your bingo cards and having a good time. We have two bingo cards this week, so double your pleasure, double your fun. I love that you can hear Gaijin and Mark talking in the background. Uh, Jin T13, thank you for the tier one sub. Trunks89 with 100 bits. Hope you guys are having a good time tonight. Ran into another Unexpectables fan at Colossal Con. By the way, they said 21. 21. Well, that's awesome. I hope you had fun at the con. I would, you know. Ace Bounty, thank you for the bits. Did you see that there is a release for Digimon Survive, Bosco? I'm excited. I did not see that, but I am now aware. Yeah. I love my Digimon Vital Bracelet. It's like actually making me exercise. You need it. What does that mean? Huh? It means you're a, it means you're a twig. Yeah. I do squats and crunches and run. Oh. And- yeah. I needed to let you guys know. Uh, so for those of you that are watching this and are watching YouTube and may get to... The, well, you're not going to see it tomorrow because, ha reasons. But you can check out the VOD on my buddy's channel. Uh, my buddy Timber is going through Resident Evil 7 for the first time, and he's oh. going to have me hop on tomorrow. So I'm going to be doing Resident Evil 7 with him tomorrow at, I think, 5 p.m. PST. So I'll tweet about it, and I'll be hosting it on my Twitch channel. So at worst comes to worst, 5 o'clock tomorrow p.m. PST. Come check origin, it out. It's going to be fun. The origin story of Ethan Winters action, man. It's What's true. tomorrow at what? 5? Uh, I'm doing a Resident Evil 7 stream with uh, Timber. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Yeah. Tell them I say hello. I will. I will do so. Sorry, I shouldn't be scraping my thing in the microphone. I apologize. You shouldn't. But that's okay. It's alright. If Connor can make dad noises, you can scrape your thing in the microphone. That's not equivalent. Also, I don't know if Monty knows the monster I'm about to fucking spout, but uh, when you when you said the name of the demon that they're or whatever the creature is they're trying to summon, the lotto. Yeah, when they when you said that, and I'm thinking, all right, demon summoning, is this thing a Jubilixian? And I do. You don't have to answer me. That's just my 3.5 brain going. No fucking way. I can't believe these people stole a cup and are summoning Italians. I hate to break it to you, but at least to our knowledge, there is no god of goop in this world, unfortunately. Okay, so you at least do know what I'm talking about. (laughs) There's no goop god? there's a Jubilex Mini, and it's so expensive. Isn't it? it? It's so stupid expensive! It's like $60, and it's not that, like, I love Wizards of the Coast Minis, but, like, that one is so small, and it's, like, $60 Canadian, and I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can just make goop on my own. Or just wait till the Flasmoids come out. Also, by the way, congrats, congrats on your new flump son. Thank you. I went I went to go buy workout shorts and I came home with a flump because I went to EB Games. So oops. Oh, awesome. Okay, one more, one more, be right back. Sorry. It's really cute. I'm kind of jealous. I have a black dragon one too. The same same brand. Oh, There's yeah. an owlbear one, but you can't get them. They didn't release re-release them. There's like ropers, mm. goblins. It's got all like it's called like uh, what is it called? What's the brand called? I think it's called Figures of Power, is what it's called. Mm. But they're very, very cute. So, yeah, it's very rare that someone makes a flump that doesn't like creep me out. 
but that it's one's so actually cute. really cute. Yeah. It holds open its tentacles, so I want to try and find a way to like weigh it down so I can like put my keys on it or like put like <laughs> stuff on it because it's like it's the perfect pose to hold something. <sighs> I hold your keys. Mm, I'm back. I thought about getting a snack, but no. <laughs> no. At least someone will eat around here, Mark. Wow. <laughs> I mean, there's a bag of Starburst on the on the table. I could eat that. Uh, you can have a few if you want. Those are technically they're, they're like they're Euro they're like European Starburst, so they have less sugar. European. Oh yeah, yeah. you gave me those chocolate mo moth balls, and they were really fucking good. Mm-hmm. I so can thank you that five by the way. star home cinema. So yeah, you know those were those were like super European. I got those from my uh, mods James and Mordo. Which shout out to them if they're here. That's awesome. I'm usually not a fan of uh, that kind of candy, and mm. I am actually really enjoying them. Yeah. European chocolate's so good. <laughs> oh, I love European chocolate, but like malt balls, I'm like, nah, not uh, my thing. But yeah, these yeah. are pretty good. I, I'm sorry. I just need to read this out loud for everybody because there's something on the back of this bag uh -huh. that says, and I quote, six they silver mermaids and a seahorse pull a golden plow through juicy fields. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Just not something I would expect to read on the back of a bag of Starburst. I, I, was, I, was, ho I was hoping you would say, like, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> God. Original Nathan flavor. Wow, they are Nathan your flavor. Game. All right. Amazing. Shout out to our Nathans in the audience. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for realsies. You guys, you guys are the heroes of this episode. You have... Pretty okay. Like, you hot guys dog. are gonna need an NPC and get upset with them and be like, "Yeah, Nathan," and they're gonna be like, what? "No, I would never use that name so disparagingly." Now, if but, it was a Mark, absolutely. Nathan and his famous hot dogs. All right, look, I'm I'm from New York, and even I have to fucking like put my foot down here sometimes. Nathan's hot dogs <laughs> are okay. They're not the best. I mean, that is also true of Dodger dogs. They are okay, but they are not the best. Oh, speaking of, Mark, do you want some Japanese Meiji chocolate? Oh my god, this man, guys, is trying to poison me. With chocolate. That's what it is. With kindness? Keeps offering me food, and now I'm worried. Listen, he's got you just so thin. Wow. Just because all my weight's in my tail. That's so what happens when you feed your lizard chocolate. All the weight goes to their tail. <laughs> so do you want it or not? <laughs> Maybe, maybe when we're done. <laughs> it's fine. I'm going to get a piece right now because... Oh, can, I, can I just say, like, very bad, don't do it. Like, any obese Screw animal... Is... <laughs> Sorry, and, go ahead, Monty. Any, any obese animal is, like, not great. Oh, obviously. yeah. Oh, no, but, absolutely not. But fat snakes are a weird phenomenon. And just... Oh, yeah. I, like, it never occurred to me that they could get fat. I just never thought about that. I saw a fat snake <gasps> in the process of eating something. Uh, and behind, that's usually what makes them fat, yeah. Yeah, it was it was behind my garbage can, and I pulled it out, and it scared the shit out of me. And it looked at me as if it was like, "Please leave me alone." <laughs> Don't you, let you anyone found, know how I live. You I'm found a Sushinoko in in the wild. Yeah, Sushinoko I really did. Dude, and you just left it alone. That thing's Not worth like, like hundreds of thousands of dollars. For real. I don't I don't know the Suchi Noko lore. Am I like fertile or something now? No. Wait, that <laughs> wait, hold on. Are there you a, fertile now? There <laughs> were there you not a, before? <laughs> There's an, actual, <laughs> there's an actual reward in Japan. If anyone finds it, it's worth like three hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, so yeah, I'm a, there's I'm, too much historical documentation that it exists, and yet no one has seen one in the modern era. So they're like, "Please find one." It's because they keep find they keep finding them with legs. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my Cliff Bar, so those I'm gonna mute. Called, but I'm here. My brain. Those are those called are dogs. Lizards. Japan. No, lizards. 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 How did lizards. you go from snake with legs <laughs> equals dog? How did you, Monty? How the fuck did you go to that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, whoa now. Said, um, those are called dogs. <laughs> uh, your evolutionary chart must look really yeah, weird. Yeah, Canadian lizards are fucking weird, man. We don't have them. 
You definitely have snakes in Canada. We have snakes. That's about where it ends. Oh, so no dogs. Got it. Yeah, no dogs. <laughs> They're called snakes. Snakes. If, if, if we ever find if we ever find the the fabled Canadian lizard, we'll call it Nathan. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. That's I'll, why I'll whenever loop. like Siggy or anyone from Florida like sends me videos of lizards just hanging out in their backyards, I'm like, that is some weird, crazy shit. You need to come like, here, Monty. We have lizards real. everywhere. Yeah, we I got alligator like, lizards, the Texas horny toad. Like we've got lizards that. galore. You got snakes there and scorpions. <laughs> not here. No, I've not seen a scorpion. We have, scorpi we have scorpions here. Well, no, I know we, we have, have scorpions. them, but I haven't we, seen we them. We have them, but you have to go like maybe three hour drive down from us. They show up more often. True. I did finally see an armadillo in the wild a couple weeks ago, though. So that was nice. Cool. Neat. The most I've seen around here is. Uh, Mark and Gaijin, can you roll d20s for me? Um. Oh, shit. Mark, right, she's on to us. <laughs> no, it's because we rolled the same initiative. <laughs> and you have oh. the same modifier. God so. damn it. I'm going last. Uh, well, I. Welcome uh, to the life of a cleric, boy. You don't know that. That I doesn't can roll make any one. sense. They're shitty roll. Shut up, Mark. Okay, I rolled a 19. I'm sorry. <laughs> You rolled, no, the, you rolled the, the polar opposite of what I did. Well, I could have rolled a one, though. No, it, it's more that welcome to the life of a cleric. Be, get ready to have to change your plans on the fly at every given second. Oh, no, I'm getting used to the fact that I'm always going last because I'm rolling like shit with this character. I it's miss Greckles. honestly best if the cleric goes last, though, honestly. Yes, it actually is the best way. It is <laughs> not the in this, efficient way. Not in this case, though, because there's a thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. A whole right. thing. A whole thing. I'm gonna remute so I can eat my cold Cliff Bar. Are they? I don't like the idea of a warm Cliff Bar. I don't like Cliff in general. Should wow. Bar. Sorry I to like every Nathan. Cliff out there. Jeez. Yeah, all one of you. <laughs> yeah, the one we had on our show. Wow. Huh? Can't believe you guys Hi. are. Cliff Cliff wow, this went specific. Yeah. Uh, fucking not Kai. Oh my god. Um, Ku's character, Cliff. Oh. Hello, guys. The Minotaur, who's a I mean real people. Sorry, I can't believe you guys are Cliffist. Yep. <laughs> anyway, I'm eating a steak. No Bosco halftime show today, huh? He already did it. He did it. Yeah, he already did it. Wow. Speaking of which, is everybody back? Yeah, I'm here. shooting. Bosco, are you here? Yep. Hey, everyone's back. An initiative has been rolled, so let us return to whatever the hell this is. I can't believe oh, we're gonna fight gelato. Alrighty. <laughs> Top of the turn order, Otho. Okay. So... Sensing that some really bad shit might be about to go down here, um, Otho's going to slowly creep forward, um, and yeah, that'll work. Um, the one that is holding the cup up is that the one that's at the very top of this pentagram? Right here, yep. Uh, perfect. He is within range. Um. I am going to pull the dagger out of my boot, and I am going to flick it towards him. Okay, you got it. Is that within range for you? Uh, 60 feet, so yes. Yeah. You can throw your dagger 60 feet. Mark, yep. I did that the entire game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just uh, I'm used to I'm used to three five where like the thrown distance is based on your strength. Oh, well, thank good it isn't. Um, oh Jesus, don't say that. Bosco's here. So um, I am hidden. You am are I not? yes. I you okay, are so I have yeah. advantage on this. They are aware of your presence. They did like kind of turn as you guys have made your way forward. So do I have advantage on this? I'll allow it. Okay. I did Sutelf, so. Ha cha ha cha. 11. Wait, no, I have advantage. You have advantage. advantage. 16 to hit. 16 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. I just flick the dagger and it sinks into his chest. 
Uh, for 10 damage. That is exactly his health. Oh, wow. Let go. As you throw out your dagger and hit this guy immediately a check, a burst of blood sprays out. And as he falls backwards, the cop bounces from his hand and rolls on the ground. But as the blood hits the pentagram, the centermost point opens up. And one of the one of the cultists kind of smacks his forehead and goes, we did need blood! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my and god. you watch as a hand bursts forward, and all the cultists are like, oh, Geloto, Geloto! And out comes a tiny little demon, like really <laughs> short and very small. And another cultist goes, Wait, what? Why is it so small? Uh, it is, like, probably, like, two feet tall, uh, kind of red skin, these sort of long horns that come to the front, these little very cute feet and a little tail, uh, and it has, like, a little, um, it has, like, a, a spiked chain in its hand, and it kind of looks around and is just smiling with this massive grin looking around at the forest with, like, a twitching head. <laughs> oh, so does that end oh. your turn? Otho looks to uh, to the others and he goes, <laughs> "Oopsie." <laughs> um, and I oh shit, I can't stealth yet. Uh, fuck. Yeah, level one. Uh, I'm just going to move twenty feet up here, and yeah, that'll end my turn. You uh, are you it. still shifted, by the way? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. Gaius, it is now your turn. Well, this is Clown Shoes. Running on up to this guy, and I'm gonna fucking <laughs> catch this overhead idiot. I'm gonna jab him in the fucking head with free hand. You got it. Bludgeoning damage. I'm not trying to kill. Wow. Oh my god. That, Why did that hit? 22 uh, hits. Yeah. 22 hits, though. So we'll just take the most recent number. Six. All right. You immediately charge out, and like that meme of the. the person throwing back the fist you just immediately clock this individual this is a dragonborn actually uh, appears to be a bronze dragonborn as you clock them in the head they spin and kind of like <laughs> spit out more blood but are still standing cool uh gonna jab him again with a uh, bonus action free uh offhand you got it non-lethally yes you got it the lethal only happens when the axe appears Oh, Jesus, a 10. As you go to, like, punch, the Dragonborn sidesteps. Actually, he doesn't sidestep. He lifts up the book that he has, like, this ritualistic book, and you punch the book, breaking the gemstone. And he goes, oh, come on, man. It just kind of snarls at you. No! Oh, it was so deep! <laughs> <laughs> You've hurt the one thing you love. I just want to All right, is that end your turn, guys? Bad. That's turn. <laughs> All right, that brings us around to the cultist turn. Immediately, they kind of turn, and all of them kind of look towards um, the dead guy on the ground. And, uh, sorry, I just got to grab my notes here. And, like, they all turn and go, Jaden, we did it! We Jaden? And they all turn and go, you killed Jaden! And immediately, they pull out... Uh, scimitars. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, are those curved swords? They are curved swords that are oh machete-like in nature. I That's knew where the machetes it. were. I knew it. Uh, no! The dragonborn immediately in front of you is going to swing at you. All right. Uh, that is going to be a 10 to hit. Nope. You kind of sidestep side boxer style. Uh, this other... Cultus charges forward with a scimitar. Float like a goat. Uh, that is going to be a 13. That misses. Okay. And then... <sighs> yep. No, please. Oh, do they want to... Actually, no, they're going to dogpile you. They're idiots. <laughs> this guy All charges right. you. Perfect. Uh, that's going to be a 15 this time. That misses. Okay. And then the last cultist... 
is going to get about, yeah, get about here. He charges towards the rest of you, and the demon. Demon. Let's see. Here. He doesn't have summoning sickness. What kind of Yu-Gi-Oh battle is this? <laughs> Mark, you hurt me on multiple levels with that statement. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's going to, I'm going to roll a dice here. Okay. I'm going to roll D4. One is Gaius, two is Kai, three is Eastan, and four is Milo. All right, it's going to be on Gaius. Yeah. Gaius, I need a wisdom saving throw, please. Great, oh, the thing I suck at. 14. 14. That is a success. The demon points at you and begins to laugh. Just starts like this wild sort of hyena laughter. And for a second, you find yourself almost compelled to laugh too. But you manage to shake it off as you resist its hideous laughter spell. Ooh. That brings us around to Kai. It is now your turn as you see currently three cultists dogpiling Gaius. A demon raising and pointing its finger towards you all. And another cultist now kind of like trudging through the brushes, trying to, he's like, ah, damn it, like trying to get towards you with his scimitar rays. Kai? You muted, oh, yeah, that would help. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go behind the tree. Is there's a park. A bush. A, there's a book. Can I kneel down behind the bush? Yeah, you can nail down behind the bush. You can Nathan cool. down behind the bush. I can't. And then I'm going to take a shot at the enemy that Gaius also hit with the bow. You got it. Uh, uh, actually, you probably can't. You probably can't hit him because he's currently behind total cover because of Gaius being in front of him. You could aim for this guy or this guy though. Uh, Gaius is shorter. I can't shoot over the top of him. You're kneeling no, down is, behind the bush, you're, though. You're kneeling down behind a bush, and also he's the same height as you. Gaius is actually quite tall. Oh, for no, Gaius sake. is shorter, but he's only like I'm, six I'm inches five, shorter. I'm 5'8". He's the same. Eight inches here's, here's the best way to clarify it. He's the same size category, so you That's can't fair. fire through yeah. him. Yeah. If if he moved up here, could he be able to do it? Uh, the enemy would still have cover from this other guy, so he'd probably get a quarter cover. <sighs> Uh, Fuck it, I'm still going to shoot him. What if he curves right. the arrow? Uh, it's a 16. Um, it's a 16. I'm still shooting him. Fuck, it's half cover. All right. Let me find the cover rules here real fast. I think half cover is a plus two. Uh, he does get a plus two. And that would make his AC a 14. So that does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Goodbye. Yep. Seven. Ooh. <laughs> Immediately, this cultist falls to the ground and the book in his hand drops from his hand. Am I the only person here trying to, like, actually subdue? Kai's immediately going to pull out another bow and essentially reload, but that'll be... Another bow? <laughs> Whoa! Pulls, pulls out, yeah, another, fire a bow? I'm shooting, I'm sh I'm shooting another bows. bow. <laughs> bows and bows. All right, that ends Kai's turn. Eastcan, it is now your turn. Uh, He kind of looks at Milo and goes... Uh, uh, hold on. Just get... And he, he grips your shoulder as he uh, points a hand uh, towards the closest guy. This this gentleman's... The guy trudging towards Milo. You got it. Yes, and I will use Ice Knife. 17, 17 to hit. 17, that hits. For a total of... Wow. Damn. Eight piercing and seven cold damage. He has to make a saving throw. Yes, DC 14 to negate the cold. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, that is going to be a seven. That is a failure. I may have accidentally shish kebab this guy with an ice. You ball. sure did. You you impale him with a giant ice spike. And he goes, oh, that's not good. And then it psh, bursts and he slops to the ground dead. Uh, after casting, uh, Iskan's hand kind of loosens its grip on your shoulder. Oh, that didn't feel great. Okay. I'm just going to stay here for a second. And that's going to end my turn. For the guy Got or for it. you? <laughs> Milo, it is now your turn. So you know that face of Kirby's fucking pissed? 
<laughs> That's him right now. Seeing a clear shot, he is going to, let's see here. It's the, it's the heavy scream from the Terminal Montage cartoon where he's Ex on the warp star. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! He's going to run over with, with fury in his eyes. Feel the wrath of the baker's flame! And I am going to be casting burning hands. Everything needs to make deck saves. Oh, God. Even okay. me? No, not you. Yeah, that actually misses you, so you're good. That's Especially why I position... you, Gaius. Oh, shit. <laughs> Especially you, Gaius. No, it's just, just kidding. You're the most ah! even of them all. I okay. Need the total. Deck save, DC 14. Uh, first guy rolled this guy right here to the north of Gaius, rolled oh. a whopping four. Cool. Wait, question. How are you hitting everybody in a 15-foot cone? Uh, because the cone is this way. You clicked fairy fire. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Ah, here we go. Wrong one. Wow, that was a shitty roll. <laughs> Got it. The top guy's dead. That makes sense. Yeah. Big old triangle. Yeah. Oh, All right. Uh, on. The second cultist rolled a 15. Okay. So he takes half, I'm assuming? Yes. And the demon rolled incredibly well uh, with a 21. 21. You've only made him tastier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, This guy burns to a crisp. Ah, and just dies. Jesus, guys, for fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, this I didn't mean to kill a man today. <laughs> and he's like, holy shit! Like, just watching all of his friends die, he's like, oh my god! Uh, the demon didn't seem to take all that much damage. Oh, that's fine. Like, amount of damage. Milo is going to turn to this demon and in abyssal calls out, Come on, you pastry freak! Back to you in like a helium voice. It goes, "Come on, you freak!" Kind of in a mocking <laughs> way. <laughs> oh, this thing's fucking dead! Oh, no, <laughs> he's All so right. cute. That's turn. I don't have anything for bonus action. Also, all of us just heard Milo go like, "Right, you sure did." <laughs> all what right, top of the fuck? turn order, Otho. It is now your turn. Uh, well, scared shitless after what Milo just unleashed. Um, Otho will, um, pull out his saber and he will rush to join Gaius in this fray. Uh, but he'll, he'll, he'll see, um, the other man armed and he'll just sort of freeze. Uh, and he'll take one step back. And he's going to take the dodge action. You got it. All righty, Gaius, it is now your turn. Well, I'm going to fucking wake up level three on this man. Here we go. Oh, okay, you got it. That's uh, a miss. All right, <laughs> one more try. Like, he's like protecting me. He's like, holy shit. And is like being kind of defensive. at the all all right, I have, it's, it's okay. I have one more. I have one more meter. 24. That hits. Non-lethal, I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, All right, you you check this man on the side of the head, and he collapses to the ground unconscious. Okay, Bonk. and with that, Mirthful leap my ass over here. All right, you Mirthful leap on the other side, uh, and that is fire. So you're gonna take some oh, fire damage. Is it fire? I wouldn't have done that if I knew that. Uh, yeah, that is it is on fire. So okay, uh, I'm gonna scoot on over. You know what? I'm scooting this way. Scoot and boogie. Sorry, I'm clanking all over the place. You're fine. It is now the enemy's turn. The demon kind of like kind of laughs and cackles and makes all these mocking voices, repeating back Milo going like, feel the baker's wrath. Feel the baker's <laughs> wrath. Feel the wrath. Feel it. Feel it. And. Uh, it is going to conjure up a ball of fire in its hand and is going to throw it at you, Milo. Cool. Is this no. technically an attack? It is an attack. And I, I, will... Bring, I will bring up my shield and I will I will warding flare with my non-existent sunglasses on. Is that for melee or for ranged attack? I believe for attack. Let me click it. If you are attacked by a creature, 
Good, because I was a natural 20, so it's very good that that works. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Yikes. Still going to be a soft 20, though. Oh, hit. okay. You take... Oof, seven points of fire damage as the ball of flame hits you in your chest. Ah! And the demon ah, ah, kind of cackles back towards you. It's kind of like doing like a little tippy tappy dance and kind of just like laughing and like swinging this chain that it has on it and kind of like just jittery laughter and its head is kind of twitching side to side. It's just reveling in this, whatever it is. Alrighty, that ends the enemy's turn. Kai, it is now your turn. I would like to shoot the demon. You got it. 24. 24 Jesus. hits. <laughs> God. All right, you <laughs> let loose a bolt and you strike it in the chest and it kind of, ah, kind of like slightly staggers in place. And it kind of rips out the arrow and crushes it in its hand. And you notice that the wound kind of begins to stitch up ever so slightly. Great. I'm going to reload my bow with another bow. And right. then... <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then I will free action call out to Otho. Otho, snap out of it! He'll right. shudder hearing his brother's voice and he'll blink and look around. East End is now your turn as this unholy abomination is on the battlefield hucking fireballs at your allies. Oh, oh this is a really dumb idea. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to reach my hand out again and once more cast Ice Knife. Okay. <laughs> 19 to hit. Woo! That hits. Uh, four piercing and seven cold, unless he beats the dex save. Uh, I don't think he is. That's a ten. Terrible roll. So Ooh. he takes... Four piercing four damage, piercing. seven cold damage. How do you want to kill this thing? Yeah! Uh, Milo, almost right after that ball of fire uh, came flying at your head, as you lean back to defend against it, you just catch the telltale glint of uh, the sunlight above reflecting through an icicle as it comes f sailing past you towards the demon and uh, just gets it right in between the eyes. Oh. You watch as it begins to milk and the gap that's underneath its feet just kind of grabs and sucks the demon back in as its form kind of congeals into the sludge. And as it does, the flames immediately vanish. Uh, and I'm going to drop to completely to my knee now. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna to just pick up that cup. Okay. I'll pick up that, yeah. It is incredibly unassuming. It is just a silver kind of like very crude large goblet is the best way to describe it. Like a narrow cylinder on like a little wine glass like stand to it. Neat. Uh, I have rope. I'm going to tie the fuck up this dude over here. Okay. I will grab the goblet or the cup cup thingy. I'm just going right. to kneel down over here for a moment until the world stops spinning. Who would have thought? We should also uh, probably take all of their uh, belongings off the... Looks at the rest of the bodies. The fallen. <laughs> I ain't no problem there. They're not going to need it. Just kind of goes over and kicks one on the side. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Lord. God. You don't and, everyone tells, and everyone tells me Gaius is the bloodthirsty one. No, no. You don't pervert the, you don't pervert the natural order of baking. Not of around this boy. Gastronomical <laughs> foods. Let's go. All he right. would be a he would be a gastromancer if such a thing were possible. Patron Saint Bobby Flay, watch over <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you guys just take us back to our map screen here. Yeah, yeah. To report on. Uh, as you guys dig through their persons, you find four gold. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> 15 silver. Hang on. Four gold, 15 silver. And 32 copper pieces. You also find a poster. Uh, yeah. Which appear, which looking at it as you unroll it, it's a very indie poster of what appears to be these four cultists, but like in actual attire, um, which is the Hyukskafa uh, comedian troupe. Oh my god, did we just kill we just an kill improv group? <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we might have just killed clowns. Oh my god! I, I saved one. I saved one. I, I'm, I'm the hero in this scenario right now. I'm telling you this right now. Oh my god. Clowns who successfully raised a demon. Great. The demon did laugh a lot. You did notice that. That doesn't make it better. How 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 like perverse is it to summon demons around here? Pretty bad. That's a pretty Okay, good. Deal. Then I don't feel bad at the fuck all then. Yeah. Well, whatever. We're still we're taking one of them back. We're taking one dude back, I suppose. All right. You guys head back. <sighs> yeah. Uh notably, Iskan would need a hand. He's very very drained. Oh, I'll get you up. Uh, thanks. Oh, how does that work? You're so short. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I let him, I let him prop. I, he just like uses the top of my head to pull himself up. Like a cane? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. He walks, okay. with the aid of, he walks with the aid of a Milo. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that again for a while. Oh, well, you saved me life. I do thank you for that. Yeah, I was, you know, seemed like he hit you pretty hard. Yeah, how's a good barn? Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing like couldn't sleep. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Uh, you're going to see him bring his, his right hand up, the emblem gleans, and I will heal 2d4. Uh, okay. That's fine. That'll sustain. Oh, yeah, of course. I'll be fine. More pressing question would be is, are you okay? Casting magic seems to do a number on you. I've never done it twice in the same day before. Mm. So, I don't know. Well, first for me, I've never seen a demon before. Something perfect to write for the Odyssey. Oh, oh, hey, did you, you grab have... one of his books? Do they have any books left? Yeah, the, the Dragonborn had a book that you grab. I take his book. Okay. Is it just a bunch of puns? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> um, I'd say as you flip through it, um, it appears to be a very evil book is the best way to describe it, but it seems to have information in it. Um, it is a book that details the ritual to summon Jealous Sloto, the demon of gasping laughter. How do you spell his name? Yeah, one second. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. They call him fucking Gelato. Oh my god. Maybe maybe they got the summoning <laughs> wrong because they called him the wrong name. Just like when the fucking two idiot mannequins in Shimagami Tensei summon Mara in his incomplete oh form. God. <laughs> Where it's, um, just, it's, just the, it's just the penis with a blob form. <laughs> anyone who wants to can roll a religion check on that. Yes, thing. please. <laughs> 18. Anybody I else? Will. Sure. Yeah. Sure, fuck it. We're here. Why not? 20 win. Wow. Religion, please. Where is it? I'm, I'm dying. Oh, the... it's. Under, oh, I thought, it's... I, I thought I lost the page. Sorry. It's under persuasion. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Wow. That makes sense. <laughs> I hate to say it. That kind of fits. No, I'm, I'm a fucking. Guys is an idiot. <laughs> uh, Otho and Milo, you've heard 
not exactly the name, but the demon of gasping laughter uh, is a demon under the thrall of Osterix, the demon god of madness. Uh, Jealous Lodo is specifically uh, the god of mad laughter, or the demon, like, high demon of mad laughter, essentially. Oh, shit. Did I just kill a high demon? Dang. That didn't look no, you like killed a high gelato. Demon. No, you killed with, gelato. With... <laughs> <laughs> gelato, with the demon of polite laughter. laughter. <laughs> the, the, the Nathan of demons. The, the Nathan of demons. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. Dude, what the fuck? Shots up. fired. I thought I was the one stirring problems tonight. I'm bringing, is... I'm bringing jokes back in a circle. You fucking watch me, dude. <laughs> that was definitely not them, you think? Because they're very scary. And that was, well, a little bit frightening was not very scary. It was a little small. But For still... Once. Could one of our outings not end completely crazily? I get the feeling it's only going to get worse. Excellent. More things to write. See, Gaius, I like your attitude. Yeah. This was supposed to be simple. As you guys make your way through the woods, at this point it is now getting really dark. I uh, deflate and return to regular Otho. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. Nice. You've got you've got like one of those little plastic like seals. <laughs> oh my god! Like a pool toy. Yeah, like or something. a pool toy. Oh god! As you guys hurriedly make your way back to town, though, you do hear howls in the distance. Oh fuck! Hey, more money. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> but, I'm thinking about this all wrong. This was about a three hour hike out of town. Mm. But as you guys it? hurriedly, I'm assuming you're running. Just yeah, so you know, yeah. Not be out in the open in the woods. Eventually, you do see the glow of Trist, the town of Trist. As you now see people closing up shops for the night. You see people kind of out getting drinks, and as you are dragging a very unconscious man through the city streets, some people kind of look at you and kind of give you some, like, suspicious glances as you make your way through. Official business. Go about your days. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Oh, dear. I have the five uh, fucking board. Natural 20. Well, nice. there you go. Oh, shit. Well, hot damn. Very nice. Everyone kind of looks for a second and go, oh, okay. And just go back to their business. So like, oh, <laughs> That's the best result. <laughs> I believe the cat man. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in the cat man. <laughs> you guys heading right to the... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like we're going to pay for this man's room. <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's part of the party wow. now. Wow. <laughs> Can we put the bucket on his head so we feel like he's friendlier? Sure, yeah, if you want to. You take the bucket out and you put it on his head. Uh, as you take the hood off, this uh, gentleman appears to be a half-elf. Um, probably, like, he looks to be in his 30s, but as a half-elf, you're not sure. Um, I hate to say it, he looks like, and this is only people who watch Prince Division will get this, he looks like, um, um, oh my god, names, holy shit. He is? do 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 Oh my god, I just forgot like everyone's wow. character name. <laughs> wow, my- I, is he a, a player I've... character? Yes. Who's player? Connors. Connor, what Vero? was your character's name? Tannis? Vero, Vero Tannis. Tannis. Oh my god, I can't remember <laughs> Bosco's either. God help me, I got way too much sun today. I'm so sorry. Um, It looks like Tannis's weird, shittier brother who, like... Jericho? Vanish. No. <laughs> like, really shittier brother. Like, oh. disheveled, greasy hair. Not, like, super greasy, but just, like, really, like, not well kept. Oh, Nathan. Got it. Yeah. Nathan. <laughs> Nathan. Nathan yeah, Tannis. Na- Tannis' <laughs> is long lost Nathan brother, Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What was, Bosco, what was your character? I fucking A. 
I'm gonna kill. He was basically not there, so it's How okay. Hey, Connor. Fuck this. Yeah. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sorry. My memory, dude, is so garbage. Oh, my God. There he goes. He's gone. He goes. Wow. Vasco just left. God damn it. For those of you who don't know, Bryant. That's right. Oh, my God. I had Bloody. Brian, and I'm like, it's not Brian. I'm like, it's not Brian. I'm so sorry. Brian. Listen, Brian, too. Would have been something. Fucking Bosco, get back in here. We can't keep Jesus. going until he gets back. For real, though. Don't take the joke this yeah. far. There we go. Thank there you. There we go. Thank God. <laughs> we All right. like, we can't play. Uh, but you put the bucket on him, and it covers his head. You have to kind of, like, push his neck up, though, because if you just let his head slump, it just falls off. So you just kind of hold it in place. Can I have a situation where he's, like, about to wake up, and I just, like, punch the bucket, and he just slumps back? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, Flynn, wait. Oh. Are we, psh, you just punch him out. Oh, wait, just, oh, wait, hold on. Just bonk. Eventually, you guys make your way back to the training yard where you see quite literally no one. It's a barren waste. Um, but you make your way to the front door and I presumably knock, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. And here's kind of some shuffling and the door opens and you see uh, Captain... Uh, the field captain, true worthy, opened the door and he goes, How'd you? Whoa, okay, something happened. Demons. Everything was accomplished. We found the item in question and those responsible. Why also, is he got a they, bucket they, on his head? We didn't oh. want him to see where we were taking him. Oh, is that why we did it? I thought it was funny. That's both. Right. Come in, come into my office. And you kind of see him go, and he goes, get some manacles. And you see that same one guy who is training. He's kind of, like, <laughs> eating food. And he's, like, fucking puts down his spoon and gets up. Come on, Jerry. Chop, chop. <laughs> you guys Nathan. make your way into his... <laughs> no, he's too good to be a Nathan. Ah, uh, I you, see. You guys make your way into Captain Trueworthy's office, which is not spectacular. It's kind of like a glorified shed. Uh, it has a desk and, like, some chairs, um, but most notably it has the regalia of the royal family of Hearthland behind him. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a very... It's a very durable tapestry is the best way to, to put it. Not really pretty tap tapestry. Um, but it looks like it could also be ha hung, like, on a, you know, on, like, a herald in battle if necessary. Uh, but he kind of takes oh, like you standard. over... Yeah. Assumedly, you guys follow the report just for the sake of brevity. Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And the entire time, Captain Truthworthy is, like, like listening at first, and then, like, as you begin to explain the latter part, he goes, he looks over at the goblet and just gently kind of takes it and kind of brings it towards himself and away from you guys and goes, Right. Well, this is going to need to go somewhere safe. And you mentioned you found a book as well? Guys puts it on the table. Right. I thought it was just maybe some youths in the village playing a funny prank, but... Wow. Oh, I show him the poster as well. He kind of takes it and he kind of lifts it up and he goes, The Osulian comedic acts? Is that where they're from? Yeah, it says right there, the Osula at the bottom. Something to question this poor sod when he wakes up. I suppose so. Via Sulai was also hit quite hard by the Ash Plague. We've had quite a few despots coming through Hearthland trying to find work, so... Wait, it was? Yes. Kind of looking at the others. Yeah, we're all... Mm. Can you spell mm. that location for us, Bonnie? Yeah, that... Yeah. Uh, Gai Gaius visibly looks a little, like, unhappy when he hears that word. Via Sulai. Via Sulai is a country to the north. It's a Riverlands country. You really have not gotten around much, have you? Actually, I'm... I'm familiar. Ah. Me as well. Well, the eastern side of Via Sulai apparently has been mildly corrupted by the Ash Plague. Ooh, the guy stands up! Oh, uh, like little wide-eyed at that. Sorry, please go on. Like, sits back I down. don't know the details, but apparently there are sustainability issues, to my knowledge. Meaning what? 
something about food and drink not working. I, uh, that doesn't make much sense, but like, you drink water, you're still thirsty. You eat the food, you're still hungry. So they're but not being only... nourished. In places, it seems. But, um, you have gone above and beyond, and I cannot thank you enough as an extension of the royal family of Hearthland. We very much appreciate your efforts and your capacities to go above and beyond in this situation. And he kind of opens up a drawer and kind of pulls out first, he pulls out like a box and opens it, and you're like, wow, so much money. And he just takes the goblet and the book and puts it in and locks it immediately. Oh. Um,. I would say probably Otho and Kai, you have experience with this. Um, it is a leaden box. So it's a lead line box. And you kind of lock it up. And it also can't be perceived through, which is very important. Um, he kind of slots that away. And then he goes into another drawer and pulls out a uh, very small little satchel and pulls out coin and counts out 50 gold pieces and slides it to all of you. Ten each, boyos. Woohoo! For a job well done. <clears throat> Spend it all in one place. So, uh, what's gonna happen to him? He kind of points in the direction of wherever the uh, hostage is. He kind of looks over towards it and kind of goes, Well, he'll have to be taken to a city proper. Probably Stone's Crest. Where's that? That's to the east of here. Can I see that map again? Mm, pulls out map. Yeah, map. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. Where's my thing here? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> yep. No, I was with you. But uh... <laughs> what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Did I make nothing? A... We're no, being nothing. twelve. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> is it, it Musik? Are you making fun of Musik? <laughs> no, why would nope. I? Because <laughs> it sounds like Musak. 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 Guys. I'm fucking pit feed at you fuckers. I'm glad you and I were on the same page, Connor. <laughs> oh, uh, God. God, you're 12. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's what I said! Captain Truer, the kind of points towards the map and goes, so the east of here is the uh, logging town of Musik, and if you continue down, it's the city of Stone's Crest, which is where a lot of the mining operations consolidate. There is a proper hold there. We'll send an envoy to take him, but until then, we'll keep him in our holding. Do you have any sort of, I don't know, defense against demons? No, but it seems as though you've had the demon issue well and truly handled. You said you cast it back, which is only good. And without the tools to resummon it again, I believe that Trist will be safe. All right, job well done then. Hi, uh, job well done. Guys, you're right. I'm, I'm fine. Can I incite that? You don't have to. He's not. Okay. It's a lie. It's a okay. fucking straight up lie. Okay. Uh, well, I think we've used up enough of your time. We better head back to the inn. Well, I get. He kind of stands up and again does the same pose. You know, hand over the chest and goes, "Thank you so much for your service to the royal halberdiers." Hmm. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, for your service. Kind of gives a smile at that. And we leave. Mm -hmm. right, you guys get up, you grab your money, and you guys head out. A little torn up, some more than others. Mostly Milo. Milo got blasted. The rest of you guys fared pretty okay. Hey, hey, I'm I'm, I'm back to seven of nine. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> You're a Borg? <laughs> you guys you know our secret. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. Right. You guys... <laughs> Head back to the inn. I believe you guys were staying at the... Oh, good question. I had it written down, but I don't have any oh, notes. Ah, snap. 
Uh, it was the one silver. The one I silver. Remember one. that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe you got. I his. wish I remember. Uh, the oak and cork, I believe, was where you were. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. ah. yeah. A little bit quieter location. You make your way back there, and you kind of sit down at a table, I'm assuming, and you guys want drinks? Sure. Yes. Wine, water. please. <laughs> water, please. Lots of water. Okay, water's free. That's easy enough. One second. I gotta get my player's handbook. Give me a second here. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll play. Okay. Whiskey or wine, please. So, guys, I, you know, don't want to pry or anything. Good, that you don't have to ask. I don't have to, but... But you're going to anyway, aren't you? Look, I've been through Via Soleil, but your reaction was a lot bigger than what I would expect. Well... Wouldn't you have the same reaction if you found out your homelands is somehow under some kind of pestilence plague? I didn't realize you were from there. Hmm, and that's about as far as I'm willing to talk about it. All right, that's that's fine, that's fine. I have wow. vows to keep and I plan to do so. I mean, did you want to go? Ice bites his lip when he when you say that. Yes, no, maybe, sort of, quite possibly. We have other jobs to do. Well, we we do have to get back to Lynn, but I mean, if we just keep going after that, we can yeah. check it out. Mm, if there's anyone who knows, sorry. Don't give me false hope like that. Whatever this quest will have us on, I guarantee you it'll probably keep us away from where I where I would want to go if need be. Still, if there is anyone who knows about the Ash Plague, it's Lynn. She'll know what to do. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't mention that it was affecting anywhere else besides Isenvale. She may not have known. Hmm. Our quest... Can only help whatever's happening in Via Sulai. One can help. The barmaid kind of steps up and goes, What can I get you? Oh! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, whiskey or wine, whichever you have available. We have wine. I'll take that. Would you like a bottle or just a pitcher? How much is the bottle? A bottle's ten gold. <laughs> Pitcher, please. Better be some <laughs> damn good. Two I'm silver pieces, then. Not wasting that much on mediocre wine. Uh, would you happen to have any fish? Uh, no fish. We got meat, though. Hmm. Uh, just water for me, thanks. You got it. The rest of you? Oh, uh, to got any nice fruity mead? We got ale. No mead, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, got a long road ahead, so I guess just water for me, too. Okay. Ale, then. Like, guys, like, was spacing out the whole time. Ale, then, I suppose. A mug? Sure, yes. I'll be four copper pieces. Put it down. And you? She turns towards you, Kai. Oh, uh, I'm good. He's going to wave his water skin. Okay. All righty. And you watch it. She kind of disappears. And you mean, she's like, she's like very, very sweet with you. And then she goes, I, I need blood. Like, she starts yelling at the, at the <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> very quickly makes her way back and gives you your ale, Gaius. Water is for the rest of you. And uh, your wine for you, Otho. Hell yeah. Mm. Did we see her pour it into the pitcher out of a box? <laughs> uh no actually from a barrel um okay. and it's not like it's not like it's a glass like it's like a small ironically it's a small goblet almost mm. 
I don't know if they have box wine at this place in time. Listen, <laughs> it's all the rage. <laughs> is it? Is it like a, a red wine or a white wine? It's red. It's definitely a red wine. Gotcha. Yeah. Guys, like, do, I guess we get the. I guess we get the drink then. Guys takes a giant swig out of his. Almost like the whole entire thing goes down in one sitting. I apologize for the curve and attitude. It's. A complicated scenario. I imagine anyone learning that their homeland is under assail by some sort of plague, it would be a terrible shock to them. You have nothing to apologize for. Mm. I can only imagine. But... <clears throat> and it's only compounded by what I'm holding myself to that I must be able to do. That only makes it worse. Miles gonna eyeball Otho as, as he just kind of stopped. He's gonna. <laughs> <clears throat> Cherry on the nose. Bitter almonds, Woody. <laughs> Otho. Mm. You can say no if you need to. But it's something I kind of need to know. Can you tell me anything about that eclipse? He sort of tilts his head and he looks down, and swirls the wine in the glass and just looks down into the center of it. Uh, in his mind, the light catches the circular rim of the glass and reminds him of that sight that he saw so long ago. I'm not sure how much I could tell you. Probably not what you want to know, but... I mean anything. All I remember is... Shining silver light in the sky. Like a, like a ring. And then... Blackness. Just complete blackness. Yeah. Hmm. All right. It definitely okay. helps. Go ahead, Monty. You finish that sentence. The door opens, and you see striding in uh, the outsider. Actually, um, two things of note. He's got a, like, kind of a cloth-wrapped something in his one hand, the sort of round, flat thing in his hand. Uh, he has, like, a like a kiss mark on his cheek. He kind of walks into the tavern, <laughs> oh. walks up to the bartender and goes, uh, sorry, have they returned yet? And the bartender kind of points towards where you go, and they go, fuck, they're at a table uh, on your left there. And he watches the outsider kind of spins around and goes, Otho, Kai, Milo? East again? Hi, we're over here. We're here, outsider. Oh, there you are. All right, I'm coming over. Hope you guys like pie. And you watch as these kind of steps <gasps> over. <laughs> I love I mean, play. All of us. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, you can see the cheek now. It's like this really Vietnam deep. Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> you can see like a deep crimson. It's it's not like heavy, but it's like very light, like slightly smudged on his cheek. And you watch as he places down this very, you know, well-wrapped pie. And as he unties kind of the loop and pulls the cloth off, it is a very, very nice-looking pecan pie. Oh! Oh, I love pecan pie. Oh, that's good. My I got a little bit waylaid on my uh, search for our weird worm person. So, um ran into some people I knew, and they were insistent that I visit, so... Um, Seemingly very insistent. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... He kind of reaches around until he finds a chair and then kind of sh slides it and sits down and he goes, how'd your, um... How's your business going? Sorry I didn't come back yesterday night. Like I said, I ran into some old friends, so... We stopped a group of heretics? And we killed a demon. What? <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> like perfect. The head cocks and just like 
He, you can't uh, see his eyes, but he's got the eye on his mask, and just like that alone is enough to like go, huh? The eye blinks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd like to say our excursion was a damn sight more lively than yours. Oh, one could argue that. Um, well, I have good news and bad news. Go ahead. The good news is What's you guys can buy. The bad uh, news is lovely. no one in town seems to have heard of this individual that was mentioned in Acorn. So, fortunately, all of my reliable leads are now null and void. If I had to guess, they might not have come through here, which might make sense if they're trying to stay on the down low. Uh, that's all right. We've got something else to do anyway. You guys going to stay around for a while? You think about heading back from where you came? Where are you guys from again? I don't think I ever found that out. S slow turns to everyone. <laughs> gonna kind of mouth to the group, do we tell him? Are you guys making faces at each other? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, that's the outsider ass. Because oh, there's awkward yeah. silence. Oh, and he's oh. just like... Listen, um, outsider, uh... Let's just say we're doing something very important. Okay. We, we do appreciate your help, though. It was actually a, a lot. <laughs> if anything, we could use the help to get back to where we're going. Oh, I'd be willing to help with that. It's the least I could do. Well, you might not be as willing when you hear where we're going. Music the, stops. The, the brow kind of purse a little bit. He goes, "Where are you going?" Uh, northwest. Northwest. He kind of leans forward. He kind of whispers. He goes, "Are you going to Eastonvale?" All right, he's gone. Cuts out the bug. I mean. <sighs> Yes. Yes, you're we not, are. You're not smugglers, are you? No. Heavens no. Okay. He watches, he kind of loosens up at that. Like, he wasn't like, I'm going to kill you if you're smugglers. We were like, you guys aren't, you're not smugglers. You watch as he kind of like, uh, puts up a hand and goes, I got an ale over here. And the woman goes, oh yeah, sure. And he watches, he kind of leans forward again. He goes, dare I ask or should I just leave it? We're trying to help Eason Vale. Help Eason Vale? Looks to everyone else as if to say, should we, you know, tell him? The barmaid comes by and kind of sets the mug in front of him and goes, there you are, I love. And he goes, thank you. And you watch, he kind of like eventually finds it and brings it to his mouth. And mm. I, okay. I think I we can be forthcoming with you. Uh, our business is that of cleansing. Cleansing. Let's just say there's a town in Eason Vale that we all kind of found our way to. It was very friendly, very open. Uh, and, uh, well, it's not that way anymore. Well, it hasn't been that way for a year. <sighs> Outsider, come come really close. Okay, he kind of leans forward. We may have a way to help get rid of the curse. Watches the head kind of cocks. He goes, interesting. What might you know of objects? Uh... Have you have you ever heard of a, a bead of Hoketh? That's a religion check from him. Big brain it. He kind of drinks, kind of leans back in his chair and he kind of goes, they're holy relics, I think, but I don't know what they do. We found one in Acorn. Oh. So that's why you were going to Acorn. Interesting. Hmm. Someone 
go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. You go ahead. Someone we met uh, knew it would be there, actually. And she sent us to get it. That doesn't feel like very common knowledge. This person's trustworthy? Ah, uh, this person saved our lives, so I'd assume so. Oh, I, okay, I can understand that, given the circumstances. He kind of just gestures widely in your directions, just like, you know. Monty, hmm. dumb question. I would like to insight his reactions. Go for it, yeah. Because you just never know. Yeah. It's double 19s. Nice. He seems like... You read him really well, because you can see, despite not seeing his eyes, you can kind of read the face and the mouth a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit distracting, the lipstick's still there. Um, <laughs> and you realize with the insight check, that is granny lipstick, so it's not like he was you know, making out with a girl. What a wholesome boy! Oh, jeez. Oh, he clearly was kissed on the cheek by a grandma. Um, oh, man, this is an awesome pie. He kind of, yeah, as you're eating, this is like strong grandma pie. Like, this is some, some peak grandma food. Um, the way his face kind of goes is it's, it's a sense of just like, is that possible? Um, but there's also like an edge of concern for you guys in a weird way. Mm. Like he seems to be like, okay. And like you guys like, you know, she saved our lives and he goes, okay. okay. But there's still an edge of like, hmm, that's interesting. Well, listen, if we're going to put all the cards on the table, we need other beads as it stands they're currently corrupted but if we could find them bring them back there's a way we could uncorrupt them and then from there we can end the curse kind of doesn't really move but he kind of acknowledges as he goes and the rest of you you're driven to do this uh, yeah. well Gaius doesn't respond, but please go on. Yeah, it's complicated. See, we want to save the country, and this is the only way we sort of know how to do it right now. As it stands, we were the only ones that were able to do this. So it's and aside from you, we're the only ones who know. He puts down the mug and he goes, I want to help. I don't think I can step into Easton Vale until if by some miracle this curse is lifted, but I could get you to the edge of it. And if there's any way I can help, I think this is a noble goal. If you could get us there as fast as possible, that would be the best thing. It might mean going off the road a little bit, if you're okay with that, if you want to get there as fast as possible. Kind of glancing over at Gaius for a moment. Yeah, I uh, I think we're willing to sacrifice ease for speed here. Gaius sure, looks like he's finally... Other... Oh. oh, sorry, Gaius. No, go ahead, Gaius. No, I, I was just going to say, when you look over at Gaius, it looks like he's trying to, like, it looks like he's trying to parse a sentence, but he doesn't quite know what how to like say it. But there's like words on the tip of his on the tip of his lips right now. But he's like having a hard time trying to bring them forward. Troubled. Ice isn't paying attention. Well, uh, anyway. Yeah, your your assistance would be really helpful. Um, I can even say we won't really need to stop for any landmarks or anything. And like you guys can tell that he's sort of like, <laughs> uh, like damn it. We know a a, rel a relatively safe way to get back to where we're going. 
there's a couple of safe havens for what that might be worth in Easton Vale. Again, I'm not going into Easton Vale. I refuse to go there. I That's listen. I already oh. have a hard enough time navigating and having ghosts whispering in my ear. I don't want that. <laughs> Watch if she just well, keeps sipping. I wasn't suggesting that you do, but I, I don't sorry, want really you to quick. worry. Can I insight that? Go for it, yeah. That seems a very specific fear. Yeah, ditto, actually. He's afraid of ghosts. Well, no, we we have a reason to be afraid of ghosts, too. I 17. Seven. Nope, too, too busy with trying to figure out how to parse things right now. Makes sense. Your mind's kind of elsewhere at the moment. Uh -huh. Does anybody else want an insight? You know what? Sure. I've already been starting. Otho, Kai, do you guys want insight? Got a plus six. That's 20. Wow. Uh... I think Milo's got yeah, it. Why the hell not? I don't have advantage because I am not a tiger. Tiger! Uh, <laughs> <eight>. <laughs> tiger! Oh, though, this pie is delicious. It's so good. Mm. Buttery and, and the pecans are just... It, it. What makes it better is that your wine was kind of subpar, but this makes the wine really good. Um, Milo... He's mm -hmm. the only person who succeeds because Dang it. Uh, the outsider uh, got really rolled really high. My brain, oh my god, never let me go me too. Again. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> brain got cooked in the sun today. Um, Milo, you get the sense that he just voices talking at me that definitely unnerves him quite a bit, for sure. That line in particular and otherworldly forces seems to make him uncomfortable. Would you say I rolled high enough to determine if he's attempted to pass through the barrier or not? Uh, you don't get the sense, and neither does Milo. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't ask that. Insight check would not give that away. It's more Fair about enough. their demeanor and, and their maybe their feelings towards things. So, Well, anyway, as I was saying, it's not that we want you to come with us in there. We just don't want you to worry about us. We've got an idea where we're going. Well, I... I do worry. I've kind of, we didn't know each other for a very short amount of time, but you all seem to be very good head on your shoulders. Young, too. You know, younger than me, anyway. He kind of sips more of his ale. I don't know. It's just... I hate to see you throw it away, but if you believe in this strongly, then, uh... Well, I want to help. That's the least I can do. It would we appreciate in, that. It would assist us in seeing the job done. Anyway. Uh, we can compensate you if that's, you know, something you do. How about this? You can compensate me after you watch as the outsider kind of leans and listens and kind of leans back forward and goes, once the curse is lifted. How about that? I that'll work. Putting an end to this ash plague will save a lot of people. A lot of people. All right. Uh, so, you, hey, you Monty, guys drink your drink. I, yeah, I saw your message. I was going to say. Mm hmm. As everybody else, anybody else have anything pressing they need to do before they go to bed? Because Zito, nah. uh, Gaius wanted to talk to the outsider in private. Nope, go for it. Okay, you guys head upstairs to your in rooms for the night. Uh, again, one silver for everybody. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Yep. I'll mark that up. Done. Okay. Gaius, you're left with nursing your ale <laughs> along with the outsider. No one else around. Is no, it's just like some of the patrons are kind of around, but they're laughing and they're definitely around their room. There's some people playing cards in the corner and he's just like, ah, you know, kind of barking. And the barmaid at this point is just kind of cleaning tables. And the outsider is probably another half ale done. Since we are the only ones here, I must ask you something. Sure. You are a worldly person. You travel around, yes? Quite a bit, yes. How much do you know of Via Salai? 
That name is not familiar to me at all, I'm afraid. Gaius looks a little downtrodden at that. And this is a shot in the dark, but hopefully this will mean something. Does a bounty hunter by the name of Tag name mean anything to you? That's a, that's a roll. That name is familiar, but I don't Gaius remember. Gaius perks up. From where? He was tall, you said? He's... He's one of mine. He's one of the few that actually travel around. Hmm. He's a bounty hunter. He, He's my uncle. Last I heard that name... It was to the north of Hearthland. Was it recent? Uh, probably about maybe seven months ago, give or take. But oh, guys, didn't want to hear that. <laughs> I, again, I travel quite a bit. I've I mostly travel the southern coasts of Alton. So, and again, I never met the person. I just heard people mentioning them around, but I have no idea who they are. But if they're your uncle, then I'm sure they're martially quite impressive. Once this bead business is done, I have to make my way up north after this. A piece of advice from an old timer. And that is? Sometimes the best way to help yourself is to help others. A little hard to wake up to the knowledge that your homeland is now in some kind of pestilence plague. Well. But I went on this journey to make a name or to prove myself to history in some way. And if this is how it be done and I lose the place of my birth, I suppose that's what must be done. I have a vow to uphold and I will do so. Even if that means I can never go back. Uh, never say never. I mean, it's not like you left. It's not like you're the one who caused the plague. It's not like you're the one who brought the bad stuff. No. At least that you're right, too. I finished the rest. That guy is like, slurps down the rest of his drink. Ah, oh, it's warm and gross. Throws the cup away. <laughs> All right, well, have a good night. Let me know what you're all doing in the morning, just so I have an idea. If you guys want to set out tomorrow, I'm willing to set out. I'm basically done here. But if they want to do other things, I'm, well, take your time. Hi, well, a good night to you, then. Good night. This guy, guy's like, slaps himself in the face. All right, <sighs> time to be a little bit more cheerful in demeanor, I suppose. Have a good one. I head back upstairs. Have a good night. You guys all gain the benefits of a long rest. Punish your spell slots. Huzzah! Ooh. Who has the orb? I have the orb. Oh. Oh no. Right. You guys awake in the next morning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ah, jeez. Air conditioner scared the crap out of me. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Mark. My 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 apartment can be a little loud. Ooh. Yes, ghosts. Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> You're so, right under the vent too. Yeah. As you guys awake in the next morning, what's the plan? What do you guys want to do? Uh, get this bead back. That's yeah, my let's, vote. Yeah. Let, we, well, had, let's, let's... we had this guy ask around about Wormtongue, and he, they, no one knew anything about him, so that was no, our only nothing. lead to come south. Yeah. 
Yep, let's let's fuck out of here and get ourselves the speed delivered. Time to boogie back to Lynn. All right. All right. So you guys we, should probably, we should probably go to Acorn first. Why? Do you need because anything? Because someone never gave the letter to the mayor. Did we not? Oh, we did. No, you, you never did. I don't think you ever gave him the letter. <laughs> That's what, uh, so we should at least do that because that might have some information. Because remember how he didn't know who she was, but she wanted him to get this letter and like, you'll know. Could okay, be important. That's fair. That's and it's fair. at least on the way. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. the, yeah, the I'll, only, I'll the only reason why I'm hesitant is because we just told that we just told the, the outsider that we wanted to go fast, which would be a straight line from here to the border versus taking the L to go back to Acorn. I I kind of agree with Bosco, though. It might be no, good. I, to I do agree. First. I do you agree, to, but yeah. You guys can get to Acorn in a day as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so let's drop this note off and then fucking boogie on back to Lynn. All right. Woo! Start of the morning, though. I need someone to roll me a d20. I got it. So oh, only, it's the only weather Jesus. roll of the day. I want it. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Mark. I want to roll for okay. weather. I want to roll. Uh, yeah. Can you 17. Show me? And then eight. And then four. Oh. Wow. All right. So oh, we have a no. 17. It is mm -hmm. a pretty cold spring day. Uh, but beyond that, nothing of note. As you guys take off into the woods with the outsider, uh, gaining the benefit of his ranger favorite terrain, meaning you guys can move two tiles instead of one in his favorite Ooh. terrain, which is roads. Mm. Roads are kind of every every ranger gets the roads because it's easy, and then forests. So mm. excellent. <laughs> Where's my travel ambience? Exactly. I uh, I I just just a heads up. I did swap some spells for travel purposes. You got it. Do we need uh, to declare you, that money to you? Uh, you do. Like, if you have the water stuff, because basically yeah. for the day of travel, you need to ra write off a ration and you need to write off water in your water scan. Okay. All right. Okay. So I've got, I, I, I did want to switch up to create, destroy water so we don't have okay. to worry then about that. Then you guys don't have to write off your water skins because you get the bucket of destiny. The bucket! The bucket, bucket! Which Bucker. is now strangely clown flavored. Do we it's get... Not like, a weird flavor to it after that guy's head was in it. He probably had some teeth issues. Ew. <laughs> I don't want to hear anything about clowns or flavored water. I'm sorry, um, Frank. Clown money, juice. do we do we need a write off a ration or do we get breakfast at the? Uh, you got breakfast, breakfast, but this is still travel day. So, oh, okay. So like lunch, yeah. dinner thing. Well, okay. We've got plenty of rations though. Yeah. Do we? Yeah, um, we have fifteen. I've got, I've got yeah. fourteen now. Uh, I'm going to give myself and guys the same double double butter down toast. Double oh, butter. Double butter. By nightfall, you guys make it to Acorn. It's like probably oh, like <laughs> like 7 p.m. <laughs> and as you guys make your way back to Acorn, you do notice something on your way in. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Trees again? No, there are little like mounds of dirt outside of the village. Yay! Oh. No, they're planting. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Right? Yeah. It's okay. Kind of look over. Cool. There, they, it seems they've been planting those acorns. There you go, Kai. Not only are you a crack shot, you're a convincing negotiator. Hooray! They're doing the right thing. That's the best you could ask for, though. <laughs> yeah, at least they listened. At least somebody I don't know. Hold did. On. Let, me, let me double check something. I like pinch Kai on the shoulder. Ow! Oh, good. You felt that. You're not full of bark. Excellent. Iskan sort of slowly pinches himself <laughs> and then like nods to himself. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's drop off this letter. Oops, sorry, right. go ahead, Money. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I was just gonna say, like, it's pretty quiet. Like there there are lights on and people are seem to be going like, you know, to bed ish or inside at the very least. But you do make your way to the mayor's house. Um, still brandishing that Griffin heraldry. And as you walk up, you guys knock on the door and mm. you hear a I'll be right down. <laughs> God damn it. He's still coughing up mulch. It's, it's been a couple gonna, of days. Like, pile, he's yeah, got like piles has, of leaves. <laughs> as he opens the door, you see like a couple leaves kind of drift out, and you see uh, Mayor Oaknut kind of opened the door. He goes, oh, you're back. Excellent. Outsider. And Outsider kind of nods. 
out. What can I help you with? I guess we I actually... actually... Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> we actually neglected to give you something on our way here. There was something oh, meant for come you. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. The whole curse thing kind of distracted from it. As I'm glad that it did in, in a weird way. <laughs> <coughs> There's more leaves come out of him. <laughs> like, they like slap into fucking like, Gaius' face. <laughs> Gross. I'll just hastily <laughs> scoot him into a corner. <laughs> Where did you even get that broom? It was in the same place it was last time. <laughs> I set it back down. Apologies, very um, but here you go. I'm just going to pass it off to him. He I believe I had it. it. Yeah. He kind of takes it and he kind of looks over it and he pops the seal. He kind of looks at you as he is opening, kind of confused, and then opens up and unfolds it. You see him start to read. He kind of cocks his head slightly and he nods. He keeps reading. And, like, you see his eyes narrow at the bottom of the page. And he goes, Okay. And you watch as he walks with the letter over towards the hearth fire and tosses the letter in. Duh! Hold out your hand, Frodo. It's quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's three. That's yep. three Lord of the Rings references tonight. <laughs> I was thinking that one scene from Ratatouille, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was that necessary? I, w I was told to do it in the letter, so <coughs> I assume right. it was. Iskan right, and Gaius um, in the corner hugging each other like, that was perfectly good paper. <laughs> uh, um, interesting to see the whole Keth clergy sending envoys. Um, it contained instructions on me to guide you to the... Um, to the tomb, but I assumed that was already um, <laughs> rectified. Yes, you actually gave us pretty straightforward directions. Excellent. Um, don't know who the sender was, though, for that letter. They had very clear and stern instructions, whoever they are. It didn't say, it didn't come with a name. It just said uh, the whole I, I just didn't recognize the name. She's a very straightforward person. Right. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> does right. does um, the outsider make any sort of gesture upon hearing um, the Hoketh clergy being named? No, he doesn't seem to okay. take note. He just seems to be vibing. <laughs> just dance, doing squat <laughs> dancing in the corner. <laughs> doing a little jig. <laughs> Weird how cool. he stares at the wall. He's like facing the wall and just doesn't move. <laughs> uh, Mayor Ork, but we, we were hoping we could stay the night here as well. Oh, well, uh, free of charge. Food included. Oh, thank you very much. It's the least we can do. All right. All right, All right cool. Well, we'll take it up then. Yeah. yeah. You guys, make your way out. Uh, mm -hmm. Really quickly, as we're walking to the inn... Uh, hey, Kai, you want to pay a visit to that hat fellow? Yeah, yeah, actually, I do. The great and mighty Kevin. <laughs> God damn it. You know, I it's it's too it. easy, dude. I know, I know. I saw the memes. <laughs> uh, Monty, I'm going to look towards the tower. Is his is is he up in his window? <laughs> Roll perception check. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Huh. 19. Okay, I'm going to call back to an old meme. <laughs> Good, we just the, did. You know the dramatic ground hug where it's like leaning back? Yes! And like <laughs> Imagine that, but it's in a window and it's an old wizard. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> like he, he sensed me looking at him and just turns around. <laughs> like he's standing you look and you're like, ah! Like, you know what I mean? When you turn and see someone really close and you're not expecting it? Like, say that Well, uh... He looks awake. Wait. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should go now. Yeah. Uh, hey, Milo. Uh, uh, yeah. Remember when you fixed that sign after Gaius punched it? Did I break yeah. it again? 
Could, I don't, could I, you do that to paper? I don't see what. Can I, Monty? Actually. Yeah, if you have the pieces. Uh, yeah, I, I can actually, just as long as Kai's everything's gonna, there. Kai's gonna pull out the spell book and the three pages that he ripped out and hand them to you. Kai. It's all right. You it's didn't. Right. No, I did. Although it's all right, I'll, we'll get it fixed. He, he he's gonna look at you with a very very big smile because kind of get what this is about um he's gonna flip through to where the tears are he's gonna place a page in run his finger down to bind the uh page back to the binding two three times call you i'm proud of you he just gives the book back don't be he'll take the book and he's gonna go with Eskin to the wizard all right you make your way up to the door you knock on the door you just go in <laughs> I'm I think knock we would door. knock closed. I right. think we would knock, yeah. All right, as you knock on the door, you hear a <laughs> Who's there? Uh, hi. Oh, it's the weirdos. And you watch as he opens the door and you see Master Point hat. <laughs> Currently, uh, yeah. like in one hand, he's got like a, a like a teacup that is now empty, and you can see behind him on the stairs is just tea spilled all over the place. Oh, God. Uh, come inside, come inside. I hope it's we're not bothering you. No, I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> can we all be here for this? This is amazing. Sure, why not? I'll go in. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything. Wizards oh. have no sense of right or wrong. <laughs> Beautiful. Well. Um, kinda, yeah. He's going to take out the spell book and put it on the table. <gasps> my spell book. Yeah, you, you gave it to my brother. Yes. He said he was interested in the arcane arts. Yeah, he's not. He looks over towards the earth, though. <laughs> you have cursed him. This he, He's dead now. <laughs> he was just dare. trying to lie because I ripped the pages out of you, your spell book. You did what? And you watch as he <laughs> smashes the tea glass on the ground. You come into my home where the arcane is king. And what? you rip my book. And he flips it open. You lied to me? The book's not ripped. It's fixed. I, he... <sighs> You're my a liar! Fi Why uh, you lied to me? My friend fixed it. He just fixed it with magic because he knows how to do magic. Which one? Uh, Which one of you? Point to Milo. I, I give a thumbs up. Ugh, a man of the cloth. Cheater you are. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if, if, if I didn't have to spend... Do I, need, do I even fucking know what a wizard is, Monty? Yeah, you know what a wizard is. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, look, if you want to study books, uh, look, I, I just, I study different books, all right? Sure. Whatever <laughs> helps you sleep at night. <sighs> Fine, I'm not going to fix anything. You don't say I can. I could have just... He starts muttering about the potions in the book, and he's just going to go but off why, to the corner. Why would you give me back my, my book? I... Oh... Oh, boo. He watches he sits down on the bottom step of his, like, tower, and he goes, I've been trying for years to get an apprentice. Or at the very least, set someone on the path of the arcane. Uh, Eskin's gonna kind of nudge Kai with his elbow. Stop. If only someone would take this book that I made. Oh, my gosh. Why is he laying it on so thin? Look, uh, pointy hat. Master Point Hat, yes, you were close. <laughs> Master Pointy Hat, look, I I looked over your spell book and it was really impressive. There were some very unique spells in there, but I I can't use them. I've I tried, all right. I was up all night last night reading through the book and none of it worked, but well, you said you wanted somebody who's interested in the arcane to take it, and I've studied it all my life. I don't, I can't use it, but I can, it'll have a good home if you want me to hang on to it. I'll figure something out. 
Mm. And as he hums, he just runs his hand through his beard, which is really long. And you're like, oh, shit, this hum's going to take a while. Um, <laughs> and as he reaches the end, he goes, how about I teach you one spell right here and right now? Because I think you're reading this as a one-way street. You, I, you seem like one who can read, unlike him. And she points towards the outsider. And the outsider's like... Well, that's just because he's blind. That's messed up. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. <laughs> Where is he pointing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Master Point hat grabs the book and immediately, like grabs your shoulders kai and like pushes you like a wheelbarrow out the door into his backyard where he's got a series of like like dummies set up and they're all holding axes and they all look like lumberjacks <laughs> okay i gotta watch this this ought to be entertaining okay so here's your book he hands you the book kai okay let's go over Okay, so I actually lost the page where he had the book. Good! Oh, no! Uh, you, do you wait. have the spells that were on there? I yeah, do. I None of them it. are going to be offensive spells. Okay, none of them are offensive. Got it. Uh, I They are... Uh, hold on. I wrote, I wrote it down. It's on my sheet. Give me one second. It is... Uh, do, 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 or did I... Wait I know one was life transference, I'm pretty certain. Life yeah. transference? That was the level three one. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, that's where the level I put three it? one. I thought it was on my damn. Oh God! If I'm looking through my notes. It. I'm and bad. I'm a bad DM. And everyone's either. like, "Well, Bonnie, oh, here we go. DM. It was, it's it like... was alarm, catapult, earth tremor, blur, arcane lock, and life transference." Okay, catapult will work here. Catapult okay. is a very offensive spell. If you yeah, man. Oh, peanut gallery and master point hat points to the rest of you. Give me something. I, I, uh, hand, I give him my hand axe. No, get that away from me. Okay, okay, I'll I'll hand Something. him an empty an empty I'm, vial of ink. Oh, perfect. Like, he takes I was about to I was about to say I actually have my bronze discus. Ugh, sports. Kind of shoves. <laughs> I okay. guy is just like reaching for his hand axe again. <laughs> Milo's my, Milo's no gonna come up. Know. Milo's coming up behind you to hold your arm. Soon enough. Oh what? Whoa! Oh, God. Mm. Days are numbered, Miss Captain Point Hat. You're fucking. Your days are numbered. <laughs> days are fucking numbered. You elitist you watch, prick. You watch as uh, Master Point Hat places the vial on a stump next to you, Kai, and kind of like postures you like a parent trying to put you on a stage for a performance. Just kind of like stand here. And he uh -huh. kind of hands you the book and he goes, "Okay, now do what you are doing when you were alone in your room." Uh, oh my god! Be watching this? He means he means practicing with the spells. All right, so he's going to. I hope. <laughs> the best part is what? <laughs> he's he's going oh, to god. do the, the the hand motion and use the uh, verbal cue for the spell, and he will attempt to use it, but it will not go off. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I? What? That's, You're is that not right? The spell book. Right. And moving your hand. Right. That's, you're supposed, to, isn't that how it works? This isn't a cake recipe. This is magic. Think about your friend over there, the short one. Uh huh. How does he get his magic? Actually, that's a good question. I asked him about it. I never really got a resolute answer on it. I was trying to figure it out. Wow, clammy. Isn't it? Maybe you should look it up in your great books. Isn't it from your dad, the sun? Oh, I'm not going to entertain <laughs> this man. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the. I mean, I just no, his dad, was a, his dad was a bonfire, remember? Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cooking <laughs> fire. Skin is, it was a cooking is fire, you pricks. <laughs> Eastkin is just the Michael Jackson eating popcorn gift right now. <laughs> <laughs> the book, he kind of, Master Point actually kind of looks at you kind of seriously. He goes, the book is not instructions. The book is an instrument similar to a sword or a bonfire, Dad. 
Wait, so it's, <laughs> is it like a is it like a really big scroll? Like it is, but it isn't. Flip over to the page. You watch. He flips over to the catapult page. He goes, "What do you see here on these sigils? Arcane runes, perfectly drawn." Now you would think that this here is the spell, correct? Uh, uh, yes. If you were a rube, you uh, may think so. Okay. But that is not the case. The spell already exists inside of, and he kind of twirls his finger, you, and kind of presses your chest. Uh, but in order to get the spell out, you need to channel it through something. And that is what this is for. Oh, okay. Um, so so how, do, how do I do that? What you do is you focus on the sigil. Think okay. of it as the door to open okay. the gateway to your being, your magical arcane practitioner. You could be taking it from yourself. You could be taking it from the world around you, usually the world around you, not the sky. And he kind of looks towards you, Milo. And then <laughs> your hand God damn it. is sort of like your paintbrush or your conductor's <laughs> baton or your middle finger to the children who've kicked your lawn in. What? I, I don't have a lawn. <laughs> well, then do the other two. Think about a, a oh, okay. painter. Yeah. Or, or, yes, okay. okay. Or like the wind, right? How the wind moves things, all right? Now, take in your hand, look at the sigil. Think about the sigil. Let that be the okay. gateway into your arcane properties and guide it out with your hand and your voice. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to try this. He's going to essentially start tracing the sigil with his eyes closed in the air and then try to almost push it forward. <laughs> like he's okay. trying to push it into existence. Roll me an intelligent saving throw. Oh, God. Oh. oh. Five. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. You focus on the spell. And the rest of you see now as the spell book glows, the sigil on the spell book glows, and as Kai kind of eyes closed. You ever have a dream where you fall and you like lurch awake? Mm -hmm. like you get the sensation. Yeah. Kai, <laughs> you get that sensation as you thrust out your hand and the bottle shatters completely off target, but shatters against a tree nearby. Jeez, <laughs> what? Who threw a bottle? You did it! You did it! It was it kind of worked, but it worked. Wait, that was me? Yes, that was you! The power inside of you all, and he kind of twirls his finger again, along, and then pokes you in the chest again. Ace <laughs> <laughs> uh, leans over to guys. Uh, did I didn't imagine that, right? You, Gaius was about to throw his breast of uh, his bronze like discus at the wizard, but then like you stopped him to talk to him. No, it was real. And, like oh. he tucks the he tucks the discus behind his back. Such strength, and you don't wield an axe. What, uh, well, how do you feel? Uh, Dizzy? Good. Uh, like a part of me was pushed out into the world. It's weird. Like lightheaded. Is that a word yeah. for it? That's, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, it does. Uh, can I sit down? Yeah, go for it. You can sit down. Give me a second. I need to give you things. And he watches. He scrambles Kim. back in like a couple frames into his house, like da -da -da -da. <laughs> like in the goes. <laughs> oh, it all fours too. Just go in there. <laughs> am, I, am I crazy? Is he? Did I? Am I? What just well, happened? You casted Seems... magic. You flicked that inkwell clean into that tree. There was an ink was in it... there, was it? No, it was empty. Oh, how did it? how did you do that? I I don't I don't know. How do you do it? I don't know. Oh, welcome to the club. What did you do different this time? I uh I I just traced it in my mind and I don't know. I I tried to push it out from within. I don't know. I tried to do what he said and it was really confusing and it I, I eh. You used your imagination. 
Huh. Uh, well, no, I was that, trying that, to. That, that wasn't that wasn't me giving an answer. That was me asking a question. <laughs> I I don't know. I I always approach everything from a you know logical standpoint. So I was trying to figure out. You know, you have to have the component, and then there's the the hand gestures, and then there's the actual spell words, but. You know, uh, here you uh, go. We, you watch as Master Point Hat is currently carrying what looks to be a relatively thick tome. Uh, he kind of brings it over it. Eh, here you go. That's for you. Uh, <laughs> for you. What? What is? What? Am, what do I do with this? It's a book about cantrips. They're more simple spells. A better place to start, but you show significant promise. I've been looking for one of these for whatever reason. These are really hard to find. Like. Even in actual libraries, they don't really talk about these spells very much. Are you yeah. kidding? Like, I can just have it? Yes, and here. You watch as he hands you both of the spell scrolls. Uh, what are these? Scrolls! An important part of studying the arcane is to find spells, to increase your catalog of abilities. I find that certain spellcasters lean more towards one spell than the other, and he leans towards, looks towards you, Milo. Looks back. I cock an eyebrow. Um, can can I ask you a really weird question? Well, I'm not weird at all, but go ahead. Uh, well, <laughs> okay. Uh, d what do you what do you know about necromancy? Ooh, nasty business that. Um, oh, useful. Kind of looks. It kind of looks towards Milo and not even discreetly goes. A lot of clerics don't like necromancy spells. Yeah, well, Did I, I hear I'm that? A, well, I, <laughs> but they don't realize that right most at... of their spells are necromancy spells. We right, know I, what I, we're doing. Look, I'm not uh, a cleric. I'm just curious. I would be careful. I have to remind you, uh, Kai. One of the reasons we're in the predicament that we did is because of necromancy. Right, and I want to know what we're fighting and how to deal with it. Mm, squints. Let me warn you. Necromancy is only as bad as the caster that uses it. Look. I, squints yeah. harder. Squints That's very hard. To be completely normal in answering this, <laughs> necromancy doesn't stop at the spell. It either has residual effects on the caster, or worse, the people nearby where it was cast. It is said that the birth of necromancy was the birth of disease. So with that information, do as you will. I was going to put the book away. <laughs> Both books. He goes to sip his tea. He goes, oh, damn it. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm out of tea. You threw it oh. on the ground. No, I didn't. Shush. Uh, <laughs> how did you look at the scrolls? Okay. Uh, disguise self. Ooh. Uh, and the other one, again, I lost that note. Wish. I think it was not <laughs> wish. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I mean, there, were, there were three of them. It was disguise self, something else, and uh, ex. Expedite retreat. Expedited Expedite retreat. Cheap. That's right. I can't yeah. remember what the third one is. Was it? I think it might have been alarm. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, alarm was in the book. Oh, alarm was in the book. God damn it! I hate that. I I put it on a post-it note and then clean my desk, and that's always a recipe. Oh, for success. and then it, yeah, it's gonna be gone for years. It's fucking gone. Yeah. So I'd say expeditious retreat and disguise disguise self disguise okay, self. He will give to you. Got but it. they're not in your spell book. They're scrolls. Right. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. M Master Point Hat. Yes. Um. W so uh, magic. It's crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> he just threw a bottle with his mind. Yeah. Um. That was weird, but. Well, how does he use the book to do it? Because I. The book. I, I've. Well, I've never. To the magic inside and the world around you. It bridges the gap between you and the world. But I've never had a book when I do it. Because you're a cheater, then. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, sounds like a cheater. I... 
Don't even get me started on warlocks. Mm -mm. He wants starts walking back to his house. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with a <laughs> warlock? The... Freeloaders, that's what? I don't understand. Neither do I. But I what? know. Must have pointed out. Must have pointed out. Can I, can I point something out? I want to go in my house. Follow me. <laughs> <sighs> Listen. It's cold out here. Someone rolled high on their fucking travel chest. <laughs> Good. Fourth wall breaking. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Listen, Clay. <laughs> Clay Iskan. The way that I can understand it is that. Oh, it was identified. Thank you, Shell. Oh my God. So it was identified. Oh, there it is. Ah. Oh, identified. Perfect. Yeah. Woo! Identified. That's a good one to have. So identify yeah, no, and disguise it. self. And yep. expeditious retreat. Thank you oh, so all much. All three Shell. of them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Just giving them to you because you're showing interest and you also casted a spell. So. Woohoo! Well, I, I will have followed him inside the house. I, I He's assume. He's back everybody inside. Else is, yeah. What were you saying, Gaijin? Thank you. Uh, so listen, the way that I use magic, it's it's different, yeah, but um, I have a focal point. This right here, and he's gonna gonna hold up his his right arm or his right hand and uh, point to that small holy symbol. It's a kind of a way of of focusing the way I get magic and bring it into the real world. So I assume that either a tome or the East can, I, I really don't know, but as far as I understand, that's that's how you do it. Wait, so you're channeling it through something too? More or less. But rather than getting it from the, the, the arcane wibbly wobblies of the, it just does the wiggle fingers of, of the arcane <laughs> or from, from nature, I get mine from, well, I, Get mine from my family. So you're a... So you're a sorcerer? Well, me. Well, yes. Bloodlines can sometimes carry magic in the blood. That's how sorcerers are born. Uh, well, that no. won't describe me. No one in my family uses magic. Or at least not that I've seen. Actually, Iskan... Back when we were at that monument, you read those words that we didn't understand. Yeah, I'm still not sure how you guys couldn't read it. It was pretty, pretty straightforward. Why do you say that when none of us knew how to read it? I, that, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't understand how you weren't able to. It was as clear as common. I, I think, think that might be the key, Iskan. Whatever that was might be a key into why you can do what you do. Exactly. By the way, have you guys right. all been having this conversation? Every time someone talks, Master Point has eyes, like, goes to the next person and to the next person, and it's, like, very distracting because he's, like... <laughs> he's like a dog. <laughs> he's like a dog looking at the person talking. Nothing. Guys is doing nothing, so he's actually watching that happen in real time, and he's weirded <laughs> yeah. out. <laughs> it's like watching someone watch a tennis match where they're following the ball. Yep. The outsiders are standing in the corner like, I have no character motivation I, in this scene. I, 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 am, I imagine that guy's just like kerning ever so slightly to the left or the right. Just the whole body. <laughs> well, do you want to buy me potions? Do you know anything about any like magic that's based in language? Scribe wizards. What's a wait? What's a scribe wizard? They're librarians. Don't trust them. Like they study books. <laughs> sure, they write a lot. But but I write a lot and read books. Oh no! I want my book back here. <laughs> no wait! No 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 no! I I don't even know what that means. Well, I just draw maps. Well, good for you. It kind of feels like at this point uh, that Iskan has been exploring a lot of options and not getting answers, so you guys can kind of see right. that he's he's getting a little crestfallen. Yeah. Hey, Monty. Yeah. Can I 
roll something considering a couple of folks in Gaius's family might do something that might make sense? Sure, go for it. What would I roll for this? Probably Arcana. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> An eight. I mean, nature magic exists. I mean, rain, like <laughs> rangers use it. Okay. Um, so it, it is a thing. It's you get the sense based on what you're hearing with the arcane is like the arcane kind of pulls from reality, whereas yep. druidic magic pulls from nature, um, and ranger magic also somewhat pulls from nature as well. And obviously, mm -hmm. Milo pulls from the divine or otherworldly, yeah. you know, god energy. There, there is some. There is something you're not really piecing together in all of this. What's that? Nature itself. My sister and my grandmother do such things. Maybe that's what you can do. What, magic from nature? It's not impossible. I don't it's like the trees. They're evil. That's just because you were a tree. That's true. At least he's honest. <laughs> yeah. So, so at least we no. know it's possible. Mira Tree Tender was a druid. Yeah, but I don't do anything with trees. Nature doesn't always have to be just trees. It's whatever's just natural. Yes, trees are natural, but so is the earth we walk on. So is water that flows. So is the sky above. And you actually use some of that frozen water to save my life. Yeah, but I did. Uh, I don't. I don't know. It's all just really confusing. Well, you're sorry. No, well, it. you're well, you're pulling from something. But it doesn't feel like I'm pulling anything, you know. It certainly drains you, though. Yeah, a lot. Maybe I don't have this focus thing you guys have i don't have it at all well go get a stick or something are you done i want to be alone <laughs> yeah uh, I, will... I can take a hint i guess we should go also will cock his head a bit and look at east gun what forgive me this might be a bit of a uh, prying question, but did you I'm trying to figure out how to word this? Did you have any injuries to your head at any point in your life? Uh, not that I know of. I don't remember just waking up one day. Just... I wake up every day. Hmm. I'm not sure I understand. What What are you, what are you asking? If you know a language that you, you somehow know a language that you don't remember learning. Well, yeah. That just doesn't make sense. Unless you have amnesia. Uh, would there be any way to know if I ever had amnesia? Medicine check? Roll for self-diagnosis. I, okay. I need to remember if I don't remember. <laughs> Roll for WebMD. <laughs> oh, God. That's a 17. I'm sorry, it's cancer. Oh God! Oh God. God! I'm just joking. Um, uh, thanks, WebMD. Always making it's you always anxious, lupus. It's Mayo, always something Mayo, just the Mayo, worst thing possible. Mayo um, Clinic wants you to take ibuprofen and go see a doctor immediately. Jesus. Um, <laughs> this is the ironic part. You don't remember having amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> Money. Nice leave. Professor, the best point at is looking a little perturbed now. Yeah, I was like, we 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 yeah. should go. I still have Mira's staff, by the way. You do, yes. Uh, Gaius kind of 
Like, as as we're walking out, Gaius, like, pulls it out, looks over at Iskon, and, like, kind of gives, like, a self-affirming nod, and I hand it to him. Uh, what's this about? I know you may not understand or think my words are true, but I just got this feeling that this might suit you in the future. Okay. He'll grab it from Gaius. It's Mira's core staff. Yeah, as you grab it, your hands touch it. Something about it feels right, Iskan. And Kai, as you make your... You guys are making your way to the inn, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. As you guys make your way to the inn, you guys rest for the night for free, and food is covered, so no ration right off. Ooh, hooray! Uh, Kai, do you look at those books that you got? I do. Okay. What languages do you know? Ha 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 ha. Draconic. <laughs> okay, you know you know draconic. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the only language and, you know. Dang. As you flip through the cantrip book. Uh, on the front, kind of like, not like the front of the book, but like, you know, when you open a book and it's like on the left side, like the inner, what do you call it? Oh, my brain. Uh, I'm sorry. Inside the inlet or the inside cover? The, the inside cover. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the inside cover is a message written in Draconic. Oh, convenient. And it's kind of like smudged slightly. And as you kind of, like, look at it, it says, Beware the relics of the Great Mage War. Oh, fuck! Beware the relics of the Great Mage War? Yeah. What the oh, fuck? holy shit. All right! Oh, well. fuck! <laughs> And that's where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Do, 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 do. Action, guys. Wowie, right. yowie. Have Goodbye, a good one, Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Oh, man, I'm drained. Mage I woke up at 11 today. Whoa. Mage War oh, Relics? Fucking, fucking... Spell Plague... That's what? What? <laughs> the, good, <laughs> thanks. Yep, I got it. <laughs> episode six, guys. We did oh, it! Episode six is All in right. the books. Six whole episodes. And we're going to play next week, right? Yeah. Yes. Hopefully. Good. Unless we die. I just looked up Mayo Clinic. I'm going to die next week. Sorry, guys. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. It turns out I have... It turns out I my my uh, I my tummy hurt a little too much for a little too long. I have contracted I'm going to fucking die disease. Oh jeez. The worst one for me is like it's just like hey my stomach's weirdly upset. What's wrong? And it's like you're pregnant. I'm like I, that is not at all possible. <laughs> I always love conclusion. that every every time I look up. What the hell just happened? Hold on. Sorry. Okay. I tried to save the file and it like deleted everything. <gasps> but Whoa. I got it back. I got oh, it back. Oh my god. <laughs> it was Jesus just Christ, being Mark. weird, I guess. Good session, you guys. I'm excited. Yeah, we next, did it. Week, next week you guys are returning to Lynn. Oh good. Oh, Yay. Boy. That, or we're gonna try to. This should be fun. Or we'll die trying. Nah, you know. Everyone wants to call the fucking episode Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Quest. No, Nathan I, I have, Quest. I have, I have a, I have a suggestion if I can throw it out there. Sure, yeah, go for it. Uh, baking and entering. Oh my Ooh, god, that's, that's, yeah. good. that's yeah. real good. And it's not yeah. super spoilery because we already kind of mentioned last episode yeah. what we yeah, were doing. Yeah, bakers. I like that. Where bakers in the can't hell? Be, bakers can't be choosers. Oh, damn it. That's good, too. <laughs> oh, right. I named it you, so, yes. too. Um, the outsider will travel with you, but he will not enter Decent Vale. So yeah, that's fine. Fine. Super fine. He's, he's, like, he's like Yoshi before you enter the ghost house. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> I'm good. But he can get us there. And, and yet, for some reason, even though you leave him in the front of the building, he always ends up in the back when you finish it. <laughs> How did you, you walk get around? Here? You walk around, yeah. Yeah, but it's a fucking... It, it's a little dot on a, on a giant overworld. When you're a kid, you don't think that. I don't, we have to I follow don't... the dotted line. Anything else is heresy. Yeah, we, just, we left him back at the dotted line. Come on. Keep up. Also, actually... Yeah, by all we, accounts, it doesn't make any sense. Before we end, do you guys want to see the full body artwork we actually have for the... <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah buddy. Put it up. Let, me, let me get the newest one, because Citric just sent it to me. We, we'll, re we'll reveal it at the beginning of the next session as well, when we start. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> Give it a second to upload here. Apologize. He deflated. Oh. Bodies? <laughs> Let's look back over to the other... Unspeptables. 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 Yeah! Yes. Yes! It's the party! There they are. Beautiful. It's the party, and we'll cry if we want to. What? Now you all have full body scaling. You're welcome. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, these tall uh, people in one. Well, I love how Milo is just so and small. <laughs> who would win? Four tall boys or one bright bean? Depends if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Citra King. Thank you, Citra. So yeah. Good. Thank you, Citra. Super good. Just got to uh, slap the logo in there somehow. Yeah, we have it. We have a version with a logo. Yeah! I'll get that to the wiki people so they can put on the wiki. Dear, 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 we can dear, dear, use it for our announcement dear. next time as well. Heck Fuck yeah. yeah! So when you come into a world of wonder, you know what will look like. Yeah, Eastcan is tall. He is, yeah. So is Gaius. Everyone's really mm -hmm. tall. 5'8 is typical American height for males. What the fuck? It's because I'm here. Yeah, it just looks a lot taller next to Milo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm literally just th three foot flat, I believe. Good uh, Lord, you're, the, you're the size of like base height goblin. Hey, it's fine. He's, look, he's travel look, sized for our convenience. I, I, I can, I can take cover behind stuff. I can literally move through anything with legs. It's fine. I can move through anything with legs. That's yes. how you want to end this episode. Yes. Tra <laughs> what about it, Mark? <laughs> Don't eat my food. Just navig, just navigating through a, a giant sentai man, like or sent <laughs> centipede man, just like whoo, 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 like a fucking drill sergeant thing. Bob and weave, Bob and weave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's the, there's the full body artwork. And, That's so uh, good. Yeah. Thank you, Citric. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Citric. Thank you so much. Be sure to bill me for that, too. Let me pay for your art, fucker. Let us give you money. <laughs> Damn. Services for goods rendered. Mm -hmm. What? One singular good? One yes, singular one good. One whole we, we have to we have to equate exposure, you know. Oh, are we paying him an exposure? <laughs> Dang! No! I forgot. No! Uh -oh. No! Listen, it's not good for you to expose oranges to the natural elements for long periods of time. <laughs> yeah, there's flies out there. Yeah, they start yeah. to fade. How tall is Nathan? Always the tallest. Uh, Nathan doesn't exist. Yeah, that means he's the tallest. Yeah. Is he the biggest and the strongest? Bro, th this is a fucking Jerry scenario. We're going to meet a Nathan like 15 sessions from now. I'm telling you, I am waiting for the NPC that we meet named Nathan. And it's going to be like weeks from now when Monty forgets about this joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everyone on the wiki and on the TV tropes, make sure to mark this shit down and don't let us forget. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for Nathan. That's what we're doing now. Schrodinger's Nathan. Schrodinger's <laughs> Nathan. Yep. He's simultaneously here and not here. <laughs> God, I Who got here Nathan? after all the Nathan context and I'm missing so much. There's no context. That's what makes it worse. There's no context. Only Nathan. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> you just made context. Now Nathan is forever. You can't kill Nathan in a way that matters anymore. So, so I have to be the fun ender. 
because I have another yeah, day let's... of moving ahead of me, and yeah. I need to get out of Gaijin's house. So. All right, let's do outros here. Alrighty. Dude. Let's go and start with Mark then. Uh, Mark, oh, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life She will have her first post from the new house tomorrow. So oh, look yeah. forward to that. Um, watch Fruit of Evolution. I play the lead in that. If you watch dubbed anime, watch Shikimori. It's not just a cutie. And Aharen Sanwa Hakarenai. I'm helping direct both of those shows. Uh, it's been a fun, crazy season of anime. If you watch dubs, I'm in a lot of them and helping with a lot of them. Go watch them. Okay, that's me. Goodbye. All right. Uh, Gaijin Goomba, where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh, Twitch says TV slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. Uh, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. Central. I just got done goofing around with uh, Warhammer 40k uh, DACA Squadron because I found a weird love for orcs now and might try to get into them a little bit. Um, check out my new video. Uh, talking about how Kami Booba saved Japan in the world twice. Uh, new video going to be coming out not next Saturday, but the Saturday after about Japan's biggest badass samurai lady. She did some crazy shit. You're going to want to know about it. Uh, other than that, I'm still trying to find some more games to stream. I know Monster Hunter uh, Sunbreak is coming out very soon, so that will definitely be on the chopping block. But uh, yeah, I'm just up to my weeb shit and uh, come learn you a thing or two about culture. Alrighty. Uh, Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I have downloaded 450 gigabytes worth of indie demos uh, that have been showcased on Steam Next. Uh, how will I get through all of these? I don't know, because I only downloaded 75, and there's like hundreds, if not thousands of demos up on Steam right now. If you're looking for indie games to check out stuff in the future, I could show you a little bit, but I encourage you to please check out the uh, Steam Next on Steam's front page right now. I'm sure you will find a video game that you will be hyped for going into the future. Uh, outside of that, you can also catch me doing carts and art streams and whatnot. I'm still doing Froblin adoptions at one point. Uh, as for homebrew stuff uh swords of the sea is finally out you have five brand new sea themed races uh including squid kids uh harpies that may or may not be seagull oriented and shit like that you got ursulas you got jellyfish it, it's and sh goblin sharks right that's the last one i forgot you have literal goblins that are part shark uh on top of that you get two new subclasses the Buccaneer Fighter and the Jester Rogue, where literally you can throw pies at people and deal damage. And uh, five new uh, fighter... Uh, five new fighter styles. That's right, that's what they are. You can find them here, I'll post them in chat. That's me. Oh, and catch me on uh, uh, Zarel's new cartoon coming out on July 18th, which is literally my birthday. I am in it. Yay! Woo. Ed Bosco, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco via on both Instagram and Twitter and right here on twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Alrighty. Monty Glue, where can they find you and what are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow or Friday will probably be Elden Ring. Um, and then Sunday, hopefully, will be Majora's Mask. I'm very sorry. I've just been all over the place and not at all with a regular schedule i apologize but um yeah we fought margaret no margaret gert i, li I like margaret no let's i like gert gert is gert, gert, gert now forever good. yeah gert. just makes me yeah, think of I fought gert, the omen of darkness or whatever uh, i beat Ooh. them and it was a fun fight i actually really enjoyed it i actually was sad when i beat him because it meant i couldn't try again and i was like oh but doing some more Elden Ring. I really like the game. I a lot of people keep asking to play with me. I don't have internet on my PlayStation, so I can't play with anybody. I'm sorry. Um, 
but I'm, I'm having a good time with it. So check that out. That'll be on either tomorrow or Friday, depending on how I, I feel. <laughs> Alrighty. And they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, be sure to check out my DMs Guild as well, where I release 5th edition content, including uh, a subclass that will uh, be determined soon. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. Other than that, um, uh, that's, that's pretty much all I've got going on. Check out Dead House Sonata, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's escapades. It's Die Hard Dice, that is correct. Ah! Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories, and if you want to get a hold of some of those wonderful, uh, clocky polyhedrons, then head on over to dieharddice.com, use the code UNEXPECTABLES! Exclamation point to save 10% on your order at dieharddice.com. And on that, I got some bits and stuff so we need to read off. Oh, I think I might have just eaten a whole bunch of them. We'll see. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go back to over here. Mark, do you need to head out? Because I know you got a lot to do. Uh, yeah, probably. I, I would like you to stay, Mark, because we need to talk after we go offline. Then so. I will stay. Yeah, cool. sorry. All right, I'll go through these quickly then. Um, Armadillo Cat, thank you for the four months of Prime. So excited for the Gelato Demon. Warfrey, thank you for the 27 months. This is what happens when you get two into British Bake Off. You summon food demons. James Rochelle, thank you for giving a tier one sub. Oz195, thank you for getting a tier one sub. Who's a monkey? Thank you for gifting, or, or thank you for being a sub for 27 months. Home from work. I hate working full time. Yeesh. Twisted the Kitty, thank you for the 27 months. Paz and Quiet, thank you for the 18 months. T Chaos, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, I just heard the news. Uh, a test of your reflexes. Uh, C CRJ Joe, thank you for the bet. Oh. It's a test of your reflex. Shh. Um, Shush. Spoilers. Shush. What? I said a... What? Wish me luck. Unfortunately, my family oh. has died today. I'm feeling at fault for it. Catch y'all in the VOD. Sorry to hear that, CRJ Joe. Uh, Axios Riot, thank you for the 23 months of Prime subage. Can't wait to listen to the VOD as I drive to work. Ooh. Zenlita, thank you for the 100 bits. Iskan, you don't think you have amnesia. It's true. Dice Ruler, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, I love Grey Renders. They are adorable. That's my favorite Crit game Scratch. Monster. Yeah, Crit Scratch, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. Episode title, The Great Detective Bake Off. <laughs> Morth Randor, thank you for the 100 bits. Amazing session. Paleo Jonas, thank you for the 100 bits. P a potion seller. I'm going into battle. I need your strongest potion. My potions are too strong for you, Traveler. Bubba Bob, thank you for the 1,000 bits. The Fellowship of the Beads. <laughs> uh, Gauze 21, thank you for the 5 bits. Uh, who is going to be the next small creature next campaign? Find out. <laughs> uh, fantastic count. Thank you for the 50 bits. Uh, I'm sad that Eastgan no longer has a photorealistic human leg. <laughs> That never happened. Y'all are mean. <laughs> I'm I you know the real loss here is Eggman Kai. That's true. Yeah. 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 I can't believe that Eastgon was reverse Trogdor for a while. I hate everything. <laughs> <laughs> Radiant Wolf, thank you for the prime sub for seven months. Just got up in time to see you say goodbye. Now to the VOD. Ooh. Uh, Bubba Bob, thank you for the 500 additional bits. Nathan's legacy will be as unkillable as pistachios. Oh, God. Oh, please, Zeon, that's the old news. You can't know it doesn't exist. <laughs> yep. It's true. Zeon the Blue Dragon, thank you for the 24 months of Prime. I had a bit of a lag out, uh, but looking forward to this in the VOD. Uh, by the way, guys, well done. And finally, and W Joe, thank you for the 27 months. Uh, we have a few people to raid. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we have, um, 
I was gonna say Shenpai, but she's streaming 14, which probably is Al the new content. Alfred's live playing Strive. Alfred is, yeah. Do we want to raid Alfred? Ooh. Hell yeah, yeah, let's raid Alfred. Why yeah, not? yeah, right. yeah. I want to see Alfred lab or play matches. Let's go. What will our raid message be? Nathan's. Nathan! 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 Press X to Nathan. All right. Nathan! Have fun. Let's go. I'm gonna punch people. I'm guilty here. Oh, goodness. Ah, get that duck out of here. <laughs>